you guys by killing a character. Come on. <laughs> I haven't made a backup character. <laughs> Thank you, Rolling. See, he's not prepared. That's what I like to hear. Uh, uh, level <laughs> level fifteen, Davy Croquette ready. Well, yeah. <sighs> so, how was your guys' uh, weekends and stuff, man? It's been a long ass time for me to tell you. Uh, I haven't seen you guys for two weeks either, so I guess it feels even longer. It's good. How about you? Not too shabby. It was uh, the significant birthday, so we celebrated, and then uh, uh, we did a full on family. Disney trip yesterday like her parents her mom's never been her dad hasn't been since he took him once like 30 years ago and he wore his OG sweater it was a boss ass move and, nice uh, yeah it was a pretty good it was a pretty solid day uh, then I went to go see Moulin Rouge at the Sugar Show that was a bitching nice. ass fucking performance that shit was fucking lit and uh, I had my mouth dinner mm-hmm. just been busy out and about I haven't really been home real sad what was it <laughs> yeah some some aspect. I got a haircut. Now that I usually don't get one every three months, so you know sometimes I look like Legolas, sometimes I look like Wolverine, and then I look like this dude. So here we I, are. I gave up cutting my hair after the pandemic started. I'm not, <laughs> not paying for that shit. Uh, damn, that shit's expensive now. Man, inflation hit the shit out of fucking hair salons. Yeah. Really. My hair's like down at the middle of my back now. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I used to have it to my waist when I was young for like four years in high school. Good times, good times. All right. Everybody that I work with uh, oh. isn't cutting their hair until they're finished building 5G <laughs> in Seattle. And oh my God. It's not going to happen anytime soon. So we're going to be growing our hair for a while. Yeah. <laughs> You're motivated. I like that. We used to have deployment stashes in the Navy. Just grow it until you know your home, and then you shave. <laughs> nice. So was it like a ranking? Did you guys measure them out? Oh, no, it's just a lot of people had really gross, dirty caterpillars mm-hmm. on their face. You know, That's basically... <laughs> <laughs> so, it started like the Civil War. <laughs> Try to get away with how long you can keep it without, you know, getting yelled at to actually trim it to. Military standards. Oh, that's funny. Nice. Oh, man. So, you guys had a particularly interesting last session. You got derailed to go say the one person who's actually not here. Are we missing someone else, or is he the only one we're missing? I think it's just him. Well, yeah, I think it's just the five of you guys, right? It's a five man squad. Yep. Perfect. I don't know what happened to him. Daylight savings must have really got the best of him. Um, like he asked about it. And then... uh, yeah, he was talking about it earlier. Yeah, he wasn't he chatty like yeah. up to the last 10 yeah, minutes or something. I thought he was going to be coming in. <laughs> I'm sure he'll pop in. Somebody yeah. ping him and say, hey, we're fine. <laughs> I sent him a message, but. All right. I don't know. Let's see. We'll show up sometimes. <laughs> there you go, Adam. Make <laughs> <laughs> his code nuts. It'll take a while. Halfway, halfway around the world, basically, you get a bunch of them. <laughs> that bill will be high. Lovely. Oh, my chance. I just so. used half his data. Yeah. <laughs> Satellite internet. <laughs> he, pays, he pays by the message. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he it? went from offline to ye- idle. Idle? Oh, good job. All right. It's a skill. It is a skill. So, nonetheless, you guys left off, well, before you guys left off, you guys went into a situation in which it was a bit hairier than most. Very leggy and reaching in the ways of silk garments and flesh-eating insects of sweat. And you guys fought a shit ton of spiders. After fighting enough of them, you guys achieved your goals and getting your friend back in which they no longer felt like was worth defending. And, well, you guys headed home, beat up, a little softened, Mina, 
just peeking at the instance of potential death. <laughs> and then... Who was <laughs> close? Question mark? <laughs> Speaking of deaths, we did have a player, a player death of, in one of the campaigns. Oh, who died? Uh, Henry Horvin. Henry Horvin. Oh. Uh. He got killed by a goblin, bro. So anything is possible. <laughs> oh, I should have. You should have told him I could dunk on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw doctor. I saw Doctor Gunter, and I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" Yeah, a oh, goblin God. got him, dude. It was wild. He like was already beat up, and something happened, and then he went down, and then he got hurt once, and then he was then he was considered unconscious, and the goblin was in a rage, and he went forward, and I and I think I naddied him or something. I rolled really high and I hit him and none of us thought the goblin was going to hit because I mean it's a goblin. You know they were like they're like level 12 or something. And I got him. Square in the gut. And then the non-version Davy Jones that exists in this world took him to pay a debt. After his allies were going. Turned his by the way. Henry Horvan was turned from a human pirate into a dragon born as they tried to revive him and bring his soul back. However he was owed in debt. So they burned an entire large spell transmogrifying his body in hopes of bringing him back as a dragonborn only to only to give him up really it's kind of funny they didn't want to deal with the devil like some of you good folks like to no so with like that he didn't have a diamond to just full bring his ass back there, there was there was bad, options. bad <laughs> clerics are bad i don't think we have any clerics oh well yeah, what? Yeah, he's a yeah, he's our cleric. He, is our he, he brags about going full cleric. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. he is, he's Here's cleric. your problem. <laughs> I would say he's not a cleric. No, to be fair, he wasn't present when it all went down originally. So it, it wasn't. He was by himself. It, it was a split situation. But nonetheless, for you guys, Mina had her own experience. Nothing personally exciting and desired, but. Retrieved and received, nonetheless. Yet you were saved, brought back, and given another chance. As you guys headed back and got some rest, slept a little, drank a lot, uh, considered your options, it came down to either going to the Inflared to deal with this summons, or to do whatever it is you guys wish to continue. I say we go team. check out the fireplace, but you know that's only because we got a stake in this whole thing. We got run. True, true. We do. Um, I would say that in the infrared, it is currently cool right now. The fires don't start till the noon hits, and well, we just did hit. We might get lucky and miss the show. Well, are you all okay? I know we've had a rough time yeah, getting what beat. Are you guys, what do you guys think? I, I'm fucking beat. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> I feel like slouched over the... <laughs> just all my hit. It's yeah, it is tea. tough. Like... Yeah, you guys are in a situation, a precarious one, where your day is very early. And uh, it's actually coming to noon now. And you guys have used your sh for short rest. And you don't have a long rest in sight. I mean, but how do you wish to proceed? Down to the fire. You're down to what? Oh, to the inflared? Yes. Gotcha. Didn't we uh, determine that there wasn't like a time limit on that? Like, Correct. It was just kind of like you, sh it was just more of a summons. Like, you know, when you go, is kind of when you go. Um, okay. You know, just as such. So, but nonetheless, it's, you know, it's a, it's a location. Uh, but, what do you guys wish to do otherwise? It's totally in your guys' court. Well, it's not burning, so that's good. We need to light on fire before we get there. I'm not racing to get out there, though. Unless you guys are. Well, that's, yeah. I want everyone roll me a perception check. Let's see what the sound, what the sound of the area is. You guys are really ass kicked right now. You can hear it in your voice. It doesn't exist. Ooh, a lot of yeah. sounds. 
Oh, you rolled the four, of course. 12, 12, 11. All right. We need an Eric and a me. You just said 12, 12, 11. Oh, hold on. Oh, I, I saw yours. Just kidding, Eric. My bad. D&D Beyond. I need a... What am I missing? No one, never. It's just you four. Wiggles just came on. Oh, Wiggles. Give me a perception. Another 12. Jeez, a 13. All right. Well, you guys are really yeah, just kind of average. You guys are slumped in your silence as of all the people to speak up, it is blue. She's like, um, hey, guys, uh, you know, I've been in these times where I've had a bad day at work and, you know, this place. And um, she kind of whispers the word sucks. While nudging obviously toward the, the none other than owner, and she's just like, you know, there's just times where you just need a pep in your step, and I don't mean that figuratively. Um, what do you guys think you need right now? Maybe I can help. I need a map. <laughs> I have some dust that'll <laughs> drop you right down to sleep. That's not even a problem, and I even promise to look over you. Pixie's promise. I don't need any dust. <laughs> so I feel like falling dark. asleep. Falling, they're saying, like, I don't really need the dust. Oh, I feel like okay. already falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got it. What about the rest of you guys? Mina wants a drink after All right. almost dying. She serves you a drink. She gets you settled. Dying, but then it's a it's a it's a nice warm one. Uh, she goes, yeah, this one's a a little you know naughty totty. It should pull you over a little bit and give you a well, hopefully make you feel a bit more relaxed. And I just nod back at her and say thanks. It's uh, it's been kind of a shitty morning. I've had those. <laughs> And and uh, um, you, uh, Eric, I think it is. Would you like anything specific? Eric can't hear the people. Mm. Where did Eric go then? Or where is Eric? Eric is mending. So you're just ignoring them. You hear them. You're just ignoring them. <laughs> He's concentrating. You got it. This is a pretty torn out. I'm this, waiting for you this, to change the map until it's actually repaired. You, you know, you've got a lot of repairs and you're making progress. It's coming. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be shines and glistens everywhere you walk. Don't worry. As you go by, there'll be like a little finger check button. Um, These goblins are in here every day fucking <laughs> up. Like, it's like, it's not, he's not getting anywhere. <laughs> it's a slow progress. <laughs> All the gum under the table officially is gone. Uh, at least the old stuff. Blue looks toward uh, Jen. And you, honey. Uh, I, I kind of fancy you a glow. Where are you from? Far, far away. Thank you, though. I think we need to find some allies for this impending doom coming. Impending doom. <laughs> Sounds like a prophecy. One could say... What do you do? She kind of flirts with you. And she walks off. She notices you kind of have like a cold gander to yourself. <laughs> How do the rest of you respond to his? Yeah, I mean, I know a couple of agents, SOS guys. We could head up, see if they're still in town, and I don't know kind of what's going on. Maybe they got some extra shit for me to borrow and yeah that's that's the best I got another thing I think that might be useful to look into maybe is uh, trying to figure out um, the kind of what makes the bosses tick and uh, see if they'd be willing to help band together for this uh, impending doom instead of fighting each other um, kind of like a favor for a favor type of deal, maybe. 
you help me, I help you, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, yada, yada, yada. Wiggles, are you with us, or are you just in? I guess you can't respond to either question, no. I'm just trying not to wake up my kids. You got it. So he hears everything we say, so you guys can say all the hateful things and he can't speak back. I love it. There you go. Boom. Continue. I'm all for burning down Spider Alley, by the way. We have a vote for the big bad. So, how do you all feel about Mina's plans? More thoughts. Yeah, we can hold it over them. <laughs> Might work. You gotta get a, get a lot of people to agree to something that they probably really don't want to, unless they're getting something out of it. And I don't know if we can convince them that their life is enough. You know, how do you kind of look around, like, <laughs> broke his shoulders? How you guys all feeling? Some suggestions are made. Yeah, I, I, think, I think we should meet with them, at least. See what they want. Well, um, or, um I feel like, I mean, that's I mean, the least we can do. One of us could sneak into Spider Alley and steal some eggs. I think I'm done with spiders for this lifetime. It would be the next, like, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, um, for now, I think that's not the best um, place to be. So, um, let's avoid Spider Alley for now, please. Good. Water always off the table. You guys have the inflared. You have conducting relationships. You have conducting investigations on the council, and you have potentially meeting the council or reaching out to some SOS members. Rolly, uh, these SOS members, uh, these people that whose uh, little hideout we found, um, a really high tech. Crew, um, what? Yeah, like I said, I work for him, kinda. Y yeah. Um, do you feel like they would be more help than, or I guess more of a powerful ally than the council? Or what? What? How? How would you rank them in terms of? Right now, they're pretty fucking useless because they're all getting, they're all out in the desert. Right, but if hypothetically we got them back... Yeah, if they're at full strength, then fuck yeah, we could probably take the whole city on. Okay. Well. As for my Are part, I feel like that kind of answers the question of which direction might be the best to go. No, um, I agree. Our end goal is to take over the city. Right, so if we have some very powerful allies in this crew, maybe, maybe we should just go and rescue them. Yeah? Well, yes, we can stop by, you know, my contacts in town and see who's left and gather up whatever, you know, supplies we can and we want to make it out to the desert. Kind of track them down from there, we could. Got sprinkles. We can go check out the flame town, and you know, if it sucks, we just go out to the desert and go there anyway. Okay, yeah, that's uh, seems like a pretty solid plan of attack. What's the travel time to get to those places? Curiosity, uh, which one first? Oh, I, I, <laughs> and how would you travel? That's, I guess, that's really the question, is yeah, why would you use teleportation, sir? Once we got there, it's like, I guess. Okay, cool. Yeah, it takes a minute. <laughs> that that doesn't really help us with sleeping. So, okay, cool. Uh, it's it's up to us if we want to sleep now. Before we head out there. I would see this. But... So basically, mull around for the day here, and then yeah, 
could no, even no, go. No. We could go to our our other base if we really want to. Back in over there with the Shadow Man, but apparently the Shadow Man can come here. Any Shadow Man say, "See you around." What's he doing? You, oh, you're just asking aloud. Um, yeah, I'm just like <laughs> talk, talking to the ears. air. We know he comes here, so I'm like, maybe he can hear us. <laughs> you guys hear like a little gust of wind brush by Jin. You feel almost a presence next to you, and then, <laughs> hello, I was summoned. How may I be of assistance today? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. I was just acting. I really don't think I'd be that way all the time. But what is it you need? Cat's got everyone's tongue. Why am What's I? What's going on? What's going on over at the other base? Well, they're sleeping. Okay. In the middle of the day. Wait a second. Why? <laughs> You realize that your crew is of drunk belly men who drink off the free taps nightly because you guys keep no stock present. Which is probably good because they'd probably just be drinking your stuff and wasting your funds and resources. But nonetheless, the free taps being a resource to them has hindered you all resources, one can say. You're saying they're just a bunch of drunks. Until properly sense. given leadership, yes, uh, they will fight in a scuffle, certainly, but I cannot promise you any sort of true benefits until, well, until they show them, of course. Are we able to drill those guys? Oh, certainly, if you find someone willing to do so, or one of yourselves, as There's I would be taken serious. pretty good at whipping people into shape. Over at SOS, I've heard about them. Seen a few of them too. All right, one vote for the desert. You vote for the desert? Is that what you said, Wiggles? Yep. So, how about we do this? How about we go to the desert, we rescue these SOS bozos, bring them back to the town. (laughs) And then use, ask them if they can lend us one of those fancy schmancy mechs to drill our guys into shape. <laughs> and then uh, from there, uh, I don't know where we go from there. But that being said, we're now three steps in to our plan. From there, we start figuring out if the bosses will help us. If not, we intimidate them. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I like that. Friendly, then aggressive. Mm-hmm. So first we first we go to them with Open kindness arms. and Speak. generosity. But then mm-hmm. if they reject our offers, we threaten. I like that. That's good. That's good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, we already made so many enemies. Let's get the Lizard King, and you know, half this town is about to kill us. The spiders. Don't forget the spiders. Yeah, spiders. Yeah, spiders, too. Spiders. <laughs> Don't worry. When we have an army, we'll go exterminate those fuckers. Sounds like a plan. Oh. Enslave them and ride them like horses. I think they'd rather die before being enslaved, but I'm not opposed to trying that idea. We have some open minds. Positive reinforcement, I like it. So, Roly, will you be the one beginning us with this... Uh, or is there another method in which gonna, you guys wish to take this? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. I mean, you tell me. Uh, you guys can take if you guys want to take if you guys wanted to and just fast forward the day. Literally, just hunker down. Say you prepared whatever it is you want to prepare, and then bloop, you can. not I'll well, give we you guys were, a long we rest. Gonna, yeah, oh, go ahead. So we were gonna head out to the 
where the fire is. Meet these so you still want to go to the inflared first. Right. Just to see what's up. Yeah, so we rest. Take the day. We, do we fuck care. around here? Yeah, we like rest. Okay. And then we go there. And then from there, we will teleport. To the... Okay. So go ahead and kick in a long rest. An entire day goes forward. Well, the rest of the day, at least. A lot of goblin partying. You realize the goblins never give up in their partying. And they are also big time resource hogs for almost everything. Other than that, though. It comes down to the grand conclusion that throughout the entirety of the day, four events happened. The goblins found themselves in a unique situation where they came into contact with a couple bandits from the Bright Bank. Now, the bandits claimed they were part of the Bright Bank, but it turns out they weren't. The goblins mugged them, killed them, and salvaged about 50 gold coin and put it in the goblin package of Sunrise. Now, the second thing that happened, Mina. A letter was left for you. It will allow you to open it at your free will. Oh boy. The third event that happened. Jin. A pinging has occurred within you. You don't understand why, but it's something I wouldn't say your master has done, but it is a technique you have seen used in the sense of tracking things. It would not be un... You know, it's, it's not like it would be surprising in a sense. It's more or less... What is it one would need, and why are they tracking? And the fourth thing to occur is Gelrog announces to you all a very interesting matter. Everybody, I must inform you all. I will not be joining you in the desert. Roly, I, until you get the SOS here, will get those men in shape. I'll show them what these knuckles will do, and I might kill a few, just to be fair, if they don't survive. I think with the heat on you, Galrog, that might be the best idea. You hunker down here. Agreed. As long as you all do come back, because if not, I can't promise everyone will survive. And I'm not talking about the giants, I mean the recruits. Hopefully you can recruit more than you kill. Oh, no, I'm just sure I am not recruiting anything. But if you send recruits, then I will train them. I just figured I'll whip the ones we have in the ship. They're already there. All right, well, tell them we'll hold a big concert and they can get VIP tickets when we get back. If they do a good job. It sounds good. Wonderful. And with that... He just hangs out. So, <laughs> what do you all wish to do now? <laughs> you guys ready to head to the inflared? I would say we head out once it's like. Oh, yeah. Do right you guys keep in your long rest? Uh, go yeah, ahead. And everyone else, I only see one. You can ask Pep for a special breakfast. Yeah, he throws together yeah. a little hash, browns. Various colors and flavors. Mostly grays and browns, but, you know, he tries. What? Free food. Say that again? Free food. Yeah. <laughs> so, who wishes to lead the group to the inflator? Know, really would know the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to always have to say Rolly did it. So sure, Rolly does it. You got it. As you arrive, Rolly, you can inform them that the orcs run the inflared area, and with that, there are many, many roaming around, being intimidating, pickpocketing the weak. And, well, be nice to those who are kind. It's mostly a celebratory area for these ruffigans. It's like a barbarian's getaway. However, there is a festival today, and you have all been summoned for a particular reason. There is some interest in all of you. Now, you guys arrive, and there is festivities going about. How do you wish to find your way? Mm -hmm. 
really any idea where we should be yes, going? Yes, Eric. Oh, I would that say really? we would cut. I would say we would cut through some of the lesser known thoroughfares. Maybe skirt along the sides of a couple buildings that you know might be too small for an orc to fit through. Big enough, maybe for a for a human. Okay. And sorry, what what was your goal of this? Yes, like what, how we get there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's what he was asking. Well, I mean, like, uh, what are you guys doing there? <laughs> so, uh, but outside of okay. how you describe it to Wiggles. <laughs> I was so confused. I thought you were answering me, and I forgot that you were talking to Wiggles. And I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're good. Wow. Eric only recovered. Oh, only two hit dice. So. Sorry. I thought you said he only recovered two HP. I was like, wow. Yeah, um, zero HP. Even Did better. Damage. Why would you recover hit dice? Fine, I took some damage. Mm -hmm. Like it was like eight points of damage. <laughs> it's more than zero, and more than the two I thought. So I feel better. Wonderful. Just got the invite. Which invite? The one that like told us to come here. It was like a piece of paper or something. Oh, sure. probably Pat. Good question. Yeah, the person is not with you. I'm guessing so. <laughs> but, remember, it was in a weird language, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think it's something else. Well, it was more of a concealed, in the sense of its mm -hmm. purpose, but it was a summons of interest. Did it say how we were supposed to identify them? The summons? No. Nope. It was more or less, show up here, we've got business, if you're interested. It was like you guys have been taking notice of uh, your new standings amongst the, uh, you know, the the kinker and uh, the route court. Like you guys have been the dominant notice. But I would say, Roly, give me an investigation check, and you can ask yeah, the I others to assist would, you as, as you kind of look around for signs. Yeah, yeah, I keep an eye out for like graffiti marks on the walls, like. You know, statues turned a certain way that mean a certain thing when it's turned a certain way, you know, that kind of thing. You got it. For sure. Who do Spock is to you check? Eric? Your own? My own, yeah. Your own. Give me a perception check. Or investigation, because you're checking yourself. Just kidding. Eric? Nothing seems to be missing. However, one thing was touched. Either someone just bumped into you or someone intendedly tried and just didn't get lucky. Rolly, you look around and you do see you. Do you know Thieves Can't? Or I guess SOS equivalent, right? Uh, but do you know Thieves Can't itself or no? I don't think so. You see markings? But I do, but I do have the spell uh, Comprehend Languages as a ritual. Good cast. Okay. You, well, you see, do you want to cast that, or do you want to just... Wait? Sure, it, it, takes, it, it takes an hour, so I guess I would... Okay. You know... Uh, sure, right, you're going about... Yeah, Eric is, like, distracted as he's looking for these nuts, as he can't find them inside of his uh, pouch there. Um, Roly, you see symbols hanging about and markings that don't necessarily look like a coded language, but you get curious as you cast comprehend languages throughout your visit... You do notice that they seem to be signals for all sorts of different routes, languages, trades. You can imagine a lot of business comes in, in and out of here, and these are all different signals for all kinds of different organizations. I wouldn't say this is a neutral ground, just whenever it's burning, it's a lot easier to pass without a trace, if you know what I mean. However, you do see one interesting thing. Something that says... The Goblin's Way. And it points due north further with it. How do you guys respond? Would, Someone has I like a static point, tooth. I would. Oh, yeah, where's that coming from? Oh. Wiggles is on that static life. No, he's not even. Oh, wait. Maybe. 
My bad. Oh no. Oh, you could, it's gone. That was definitely my fan. Uh. If I do it again, just let me know. Yeah, sounds fine now. Yeah, you're good. So Yeah, I would I would see the direction that we have been kind of motioned into by the signs that are around us and okay. that point that way. Yeah, Is there anything down this way? Jen, Mina, Eric, Wiggles, is there anything you guys particularly are interested in as you pass through the, we'll call them alleyways or shopping paths or parade routes as it seems to be the general direction in which the crowd follows like a sea of fish? Cool fish. Um, I guess I would... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I mean... Sure, maybe, but you wouldn't be able. I, I don't know, give me a perception check, Wiggles. See if you can discern any value. There's a lot of shiny stuff, but it doesn't mean it's all bad. And Mina, you were saying? Um, Mina would just be on the lookout to make sure nobody's like, like, uh, st- uh stalking us or like, kind of keeping an eye on us as we're like passing through and stuff. Okay, give me a survival check. Oh boy, survival. Oh, hold on. It didn't go through. Whoops. <laughs> I'm on the wrong page. My bad. Uh, survival. Here we go. You kind of look about and you feel on edge. As you get bumped a couple times, you know, innocently, inconspicuous, no one try to pickpocket you at least. Though, you see a group. For some reason, they seem to stand out compared to the rest. It's a posse of six females as they scuttle by. And they hold in a bunch of shopping bags and uh, like these little baskets holding other kind of fruits and wares of different edible entities. And they kind of begin to shuffle in your guys' general direction as they push through. Mina. You kind of get baffled by two of them and you kind of scoot around. And as you do, you feel almost like a light wind slip by your hand, and as you look down, you see another letter tucked into your garments. <laughs> um, I would try and get a good look at the these individuals that just they're kinda, completely like, wrapped uh, with garments and silks from head to okay. toe. You could tell that they're feminine based off of their general muscularity and the softness in one of their eyes as they all seem to have like a single patch open for them to have a clear view. Um, I'd say you saw two of them with purple eye colors. Okay. And one with a more like a burgundy hair, probably down to their waist. And it looks quite soft, very out of place in the sense of the tidiness compared to those around. But you do see some exotic folk here and there, though this was the largest of the groups. Most are two to three with their guards where this one was six females, baskets in hand, completely covered and vulnerable with nothing protecting them, but almost untouched by anything. I would oh. um, wait until we're like not in the middle of the street before I would open these letters, but I would kind of just hold on to them and tuck them. Wiggles, what was your roll? 14 plus 7. 21, okay. There is some valuables amongst some of these people, particularly as you guys go through the crowns and sift through the individuals one by one, and all of you start to try to take a prize and an eye for particular, excuse me, vulnerabilities. You begin to see some performances begin. This gives you a grand opportunity to so maybe pick a pocket here or there. Outside of Wiggles, is there anyone else who might be curious and dabbling in such humorous activities? Do I notice him like, trying to do that? What's your passive perception? My passive is 14. <laughs> That's not bad. That's pretty decent. Mine's an 8. Um, Mine's 18. <laughs> yeah, I would say you guys <laughs> definitely get... I mean, you guys have seen Wiggles do this 
all the time. Like this is an, un, an unknown activity for him, and this is prime, prime time location for him. Boybos, you with advantage can choose to do a sleight of hand if you want to try to pickpocket some individuals as you all see Wiggles go to work. Wrinkles I'd and like, toe. I'd like to attempt to join him. Okay. Let's see what he rolls and then we'll piggyback off of that. Can I tell that they're doing this? They are the monsters and the most curiosities. This is like Quasimodo. The Festival of Fools, where they all have masks and they just hide behind their facade because nobody wants to be known who they are in the inflared, where the rowdy is the rowdiest. And if you get away with it, you don't get caught. Don't be a hater. Okay. Well, fuck. I had a question on the last lead. There was a dude who was giant oh, nice. with a backwards, backwards <laughs> tiny head. Yeah, you're pinging it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a special. That's a special race. Okay, you don't want to mess with those guys. So don't fight them. <laughs> uh, as Eric is judging his foul beans surrounding his presence, <laughs> Just the rest like of you all. The rest of you all uh, pickpocket. Like this poor dude has no face. <laughs> it's the back of him. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> Justify the means, okay? This is sunglasses on. Really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's Mr. Shade Cool. He's got mud flaps. And... <laughs> Would you roll Wiggles? 21. 21. Yeah, you guys see Wiggles go one, two, three, four satchels. He's on fire. Uh, Mina, you go to follow suit. Go ahead and roll with advantage as the crowd starts to get busy. Sheesh. Ooh. Icy. Icy meatballs. You see Wiggles go for the like the bracelets, the anklets, the easy satchels, the smooth stuff, and Maybe a couple of necklaces when they're very exposed. You, you don't have to try nearly as hard. As you go about and caress through a man's arms to caress their lady and tickle their earring as one slips into your palm, they never knew it was you as they will always think the softest hands in the world came from the man that they thought they loved, only to realize they've been ripped off by none other than Armina Lesha. You go about easily taking probably up 400 or so worth of valuables. If you want to go ahead and declare what they may be, you have 400 value to fit in your own fence. Nice. Otherwise, you have 400 in gold. All right. uh, for you, will, Wiggles, uh, you have up. acquired about 230 gold in valuables. If you wish those to be supplies for your stuff, do the homework, do the research, see what the average cost is would be, and propose to me what you wish to convert that for. So it's either a voucher or it's 230 gold. Uh, anyone else partaking in these activities as you see your guys' group sifting through the masses? Yeah, if I if I see them doing this, I would I would cast message to uh yeah. To the person they're robbing so that they get punched in the yeah. face. You got it. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you better not get caught. You feel an echo. When I, hear... <laughs> when I hear that, I turn to Raleigh and I just wink at him. Common collected. Mina, you turn back around to face a door. Ding, 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 ding. You stumble through. You find yourself in an apothecary. Not the neatest of floors in general business, but. Many vials, potions, probably mostly mudane and fake and more of a myth for the money, but nonetheless, value could be found. Do you exit or do you do anything more with them? Um, it would seem everyone what... is gone for the festival. The owner's probably outside. Uh, um, I would actually pop open the letters. As you pop open the letters. Well, which one? The second or the first? Um, I'll do and the first one first. <laughs> and, and then the second one. Second. Yeah, right. 
I just fucking choke and you know, The saves are different. I need to know. It's an empty apothecary. Give me a sleight of hand check as you go to open right. the first letter. So let's let's, let's do it. Um, well, <laughs> as you go through, you get it off and it gets cut. As it gets cut, it's a small little paper cut. You open it. You take out the first letter, and it's on very nice, neat parchment. Miss Lesha, it has came to our attention that you have been operating within the jurisdiction of the Hollow. It is imperative that you report to that in which you find family, so they can verify your identity and allow you to continue your activities without concern. Consider this a open invitation to the Lesha Manor, found in the Elven district of the Hollow. Signed, M.S. Lesha. Oof. So there's nobody yeah, in this apothecary right, right now, <laughs> but no, not if much. anybody else was in here, they would see, like, she'd basically look as pale as a ghost and just, like, fucking, like, visibly just shaken. Um, your, your heart begins to pulse. You feel the paper cut in your finger and you look down at your hand. As you do, you see the second letter. Still sealed. I'll slowly tuck the first one away and open it up. Open the second one up. All right, as you take more caution into opening this one, for whatever purposes, you begin to shake and shiver just a little, and you pop it open. You know that smell. It was your mother's perfume. Oh. <laughs> you open the letter with a weird type of haste. You don't even realize that it's open in front of you as you're already about halfway through reading it, and then you stop. You stare at it. You started from the beginning. Dear sister, I never thought I would have found you here. Somewhere I have built my own home, in my own name, away from the sins and burdens of our father. Had you known I existed, perhaps we could have been together. But she did not find it fairly. So, perhaps, where our parents have failed, I can succeed. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Signed, M.S. The Shah. Fuck. <laughs> um, is there anything, uh, in this apothecary that I can, like, just like smash yeah there's a totally a ton of fluids you see different flavors of, of, of fake healing potions you know for sure a lot of this stuff in here is probably fake like this store does not look like it is in the position to have legit healing potions maybe they're cut with liquids of other substance what well, maybe but there's enough stuff in here that you can identify due to your natural akinness to uh your uh, nature of abilities you find enough to get you in a particular state of fuzziness to see if it all reads the same. I would As just you... take, like, stools and shit and, like, break them and, like, just go on a fucking Absolutely. angry rampage. Everyone give me a perception check. Except <laughs> Mina. I... Man, Roly, you've been a little rough today. I don't know if you recovered from that long rest. Them fours. <laughs> two fours this session so far. Wiggles, let me know. Wow. All right. Roly, Wiggles, and Jen. You all see the first lighting of the infrared. You see a bunch of rows lifted ahead. 
And then a bonfire just <laughs> thrown up before everyone. You see individuals with masked face and disfigured embodiments that Eric just can't stand to look upon. Doing some kind of tribal-like dance with blades and weapons, as if sparring with a foe, but non lethal. Eric, you quickly look beyond what it is that is in disbelief to you. And you hear some crashing and some smashing. But everyone else seems to be enthralled in the show before them. What do you do? I go check it out. Eric, give me a stealth check. Not that you're trying to be stealthy, but just to see how little you're seeing amongst the populace. You bump into a shit ton of people. And you make your way to the apothecary. You see Mina with half the store in a wreck. With the stool, probably just the cushion in hand. You see different parts of glass embedded upon her person. Cuts and bruises all over. She is a complete mess. Upon that, in her thrashing and a rampage, she takes 20 points of damage. Of self-inflicted wounds from her carelessness as... Give me a... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> just cast a <laughs> command on me. <laughs> what's, what's, is it wisdom? Yeah. <laughs> what is the command? Um, which one are you picking? Oh, which one are you picking? <laughs> you picking halt? Yeah. All right. I mean, it could be any word. These are just... Yeah, yeah, you say stop, basically, yeah. You step in and you guys hear... Or not you guys, Mina. <laughs> you just hear Eric's voice boom before you. And you stop in mid-action. Continue it. I uh, guess go try to figure out what's wrong with Mina. And, uh, is there a shop clerk in here too? No. Uh, no, not as of yet. We can get the fuck out of here right now. You're not there, Roby. No, no, no one. No, only no, only no. Eric is actually yeah, there. Damn it. The rest of you guys are oh, watching no. the, the performance. Um, <laughs> can I assess how much damage there is? Uh, yeah, the, uh, about like 40% of the wise. store is this, uh, give me intelligence. Say goodbye to all the gold in the store. <laughs> as, What's up, man? As, uh, as Eric walks in here and, like, casts a spell on me, I just, I stare at him, and... Following the effects of the spell, I just drop everything I'm doing and just like walk out without saying a word. <laughs> Got it. Eric, you know that this place is a fucking fraud. It is such a front that it is just so much bullshit. None of this stuff is poisonous. None of this stuff will heal anyone. This is just 100% a facade. Everything <laughs> here is worthless. Show. I mean, if anything, Mina probably gave them an opportunity to start fresh. <laughs> you don't feel guilty about any of the damage done, but you do mend any of the uh, the countertops that probably didn't deserve the bangings that <laughs> Mina dealt it to them. But otherwise, the inventory itself was all. <laughs> what actions okay. do you take, Eric? I... Let's see. I will grab Mina and throw her on my shoulder. So you're what? Grab Mina and throw her on my shoulder. You got it. Mina, Mina, Mina walked out. Yeah, Mina, well, you head out and you chase after Mina. And oh, she Mina, shouldn't have been able to walk out yet. Like, oh, yeah, she was halted technically. Yeah, yeah, she couldn't move. So How long does it De last? It, it lasts a round, doesn't it? Yeah, well, six seconds. Like a round. All, all yeah. he did was take a quick assess of the ability. <laughs> like... yeah. And then uh, quickly picked up Mina. Mina, you then take reconscious control of yourself as you are in the startled arms of um, Eric. What do you do? You respond or do you just give fealty to them? <laughs> I literally stabbed. just. He's going to get stabbed in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I just let him carry me because I owe him for fucking bringing me back to life, so I just don't resist. Got it. Okay. But I don't say anything. Okay. That's you fair. Got it. You got it. As you hoist her out, you see that the festival continues and your eyes are just ensued by that before then. All of you see Mina being hauled forward to the group as the burning continues within the neighborhood. You thought that these buildings were just lived in as people were in them previously having meals and now they are literally burning to the floor. This is the one district that has burned and rebuilt a new monst. We can hear your fan wiggles unless you wish no, to. Speak. Is, <laughs> oh, yeah. or whoever it is, Jin. Never mind, it's Jin. Jin is the Jin is the evil man. Just kidding. Jin, Jin is starting up a jet over there. <laughs> <laughs> like he's it's jet like Max, and we were, <laughs> Max, we were talking about. We're here. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not just me. So, Eric arrives with Mina in shambles, practically. How do you guys respond as they break your focus and gather your attention? What happened to you guys? Uh, I think it's better we don't talk about it. (laughs) Okay, then. I like to think that Eric is facing the group and Mina's facing the other way. Like, it, yeah, your, your, like your, your head, head, like your head would be on the, towards my back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Yeah, I didn't have any rope to tie you up. So I was like, hmm. You all... <laughs> You all hear a brief commotion. What's happened to my store? Guards! And you see a bunch of orcs ride. What's happened to it? They start barging inside and you hear more shit break. It's as if they really aren't the best in the sense oh, of shit. species. But the cops are here. They should be out of this fucking place. The crowd doesn't seem to care or notice as they go in and the, the owner goes inside with them and they don't seem to come out searching immediately. It's as if the festivities and all this is a common commotion. Uh, but as you guys reposition and find yourself elsewhere. I would think just the fact that we're not oh, yeah, orcs, no like we no would worries. automatically be single down. Oh, there's a there's no there's plenty of, of exotic races here. This is like uh oh, okay. this draws in all kinds of like even the rich are here, like I said, they have like the rich oh. are here in small posses of two or three on a date, but they have their guards surrounding them, so not everyone's rich. But then the big group that Mina saw was the most standoutish of the what we call wealthy presently here. Mm-hmm. Um and what what have you. There's like designated suites, you could say, that oh. kind of like here that is like a safe view where you know harm won't come to this structure and whatnot. Um, so, you guys repositioning yourself, and it's doing so. Mina, what is your mind state in? What exactly would you say you are processing? Um, probably just a state of shock at the concept of ha- like having a sibling that knows who and where she is. Um, and at the same time, kind of intrigued by the fact that uh, they had the resources to like find her and figure out, like, what? Yeah, you got it. Then, can you give me an Arcana check, please? Rolly, can you give me a Perception check? Eric, can you give me an Arcana check? Me. Can you give me a survival check? And Wiggles. Oof. I will let you decide, Wiggles, if you wish to do a, because you're kind of a barrier character skills or in a balance, a Arcana or a history check. Arcana or what? Or a history check. <laughs> Uh, 
O'Connell with the 20. Got it. Nicely done. Okay. So we got a fat low, a fat low. Solid, solid, steady. Holy, holy and, just uh, in, solid, in, steady. In, I'm like entranced with this, like rich. Like you like fire. Up. You're a goblin, and you like fire. Yeah, <laughs> like, this is really it, cool. It's, <laughs> it's like larping, but with real flames on your bike. Like it's like there's people getting hurt and wounded. You know, if they're too slow or they're sloppy and they lose their form, like there's no rehearsing. You can tell these guys are just out here throwing on a show and they're willing to risk it for the biscuit kind of vibe. There's money being thrown at them occasionally, or you can imagine somewhere here for other benefit reasons, beneficial reasons, but you're enjoying the fuck out of it. Gowron too is even kind of like bracing his knuckles. You could tell he kind of has the urge to want to dive in. Jin. <laughs> Eric gives Mina a lesson in calmness. Jin. You good, sir, feel that ping, that tingle, that lingering pulse. It's very, very, very close. How do you wish to respond? You don't know the direction, yeah, this... but you are aware it is nearby. I think something's coming for me. Something like what? I have no idea, but I could definitely feel a presence. Well, we're in the right place then. <laughs> Sounds safe. <laughs> You'll be fine. And with that, you find yourselves. Standing amongst this fiery crowd, Mina, you feel uneasy. Very uneasy. Something's just not right. The second letter you got within minutes of you going within that building. You were in there for probably five minutes, smashing the place. If they knew you were here, and they knew where you were earlier, what's to say they still aren't watching you? Your mind is unraveling with nerves that you can't control. Eric, as Jin announces that something is nearby, you lean into this thought and you start looking around trying to find what potential sources they could be coming from. There are three individuals that stand out in the crowd before you. Wiggles, what was your role? 20 something? Uh, 20 even. 20 even? Yeah. Okay. Um, Wiggles comes to your side and is able to assist you in pointing out three individuals. One has a particular top hat and seems to be one of the wealthier individuals. They're probably human, mixed breed of something, not Alvin, but uh, maybe Hobbit, but not the size. They seem to be a bit hairy around the chin and even below the neckline. Another is of a female essence. She seems to be half orc at the very least due to the tone in her skin. There's a small hint of this kind of brown hue. And then she has this tusk. At least you think it is. That or it's an enlarged tooth by some gnarly method of concoction. And third person is an individual who is staring directly at your group. Not to say at you or Wiggles or making direct eye contact, but seems to be considering you all in his scene of vision. I'll, I guess, point, well, not point directly at them, but kind of motion to Jin to, like, look at these people, if any of them seem familiar. Okay, you point them out to Jin. Jin amongst the three individuals. None of them seem to stand out in any special way. However, when you make it across the third one that was taking you all in within their sights, you see their hand get covered as they do a minor glisten flickers in your direction they are wearing a ring of what matter who knows but it would seem as if they found it important enough to block it as you looked upon them right recognize the ring at all 
No, it was like a quick. You just saw a glint, and you. I mean, it was clear it was a ring. That was all. You didn't get any uh, details of it. More so than he was just blocking a hand with a ring. Probably whisper to Eric then, just like probably keep a guy or an eye on that guy. The rest of you, you know, are enjoying the festival, and the next event begins as you hear a roar in the crowd, just like a oh, I, the orc fire mending stuff. We'll show you all a trick. Not one, not two, but many. At least as many as I can handle. And he pulls out two swords that are just engulfed in flames, and he begins to swallow them, and the crowd just goes nuts. As with ease, it almost doesn't seem to be a struggle. There's no, no gag reflex, no hinder, no sweat. He's just going one after another, and the crowd's beginning to count, and they get to about 17. As really, you finally kind of snap out of the jaunt of it all. You realize that all of this enthralling details is a facade also. These events are not hosted for the purpose of nothing. You just saw your friends go through and pickpocket. What's to say there's not more going on in the deep underground? Really, you got a mind for business. And all of a sudden, you realize there's a lot of it going on right here, right now. Go ahead and give me a perception check with your eyes woke at advantage. Let's see what you see. While he's doing that, can I pop a regular potion of healing? Absolutely. You go ahead and begin to consume your potion of healing. So it's 2d4 plus 4? Mm -hmm. Or no, plus 2, right? Uh, is that it's, a regular? Uh, yeah, just a regular. Yeah, 2d4 yeah, plus then it'd be 2. A two. So, 6. Oh, Jim. that's not right. You feel this king turning into more of a blimp. You feel surrounded by them. Like it's constricting, binding, not necessarily stopping you from doing anything other than providing a odd present cushion. Rolling. You look around and you notice that there are three individuals closing in on you, and these are not the same three in which the others have been seen. These individuals are SOS members. They are cloaked in the same banner and colors in which they would have as the SOS of this particular district, and they are very small. They are smaller than goblins, in fact. You're not quite sure what they are, as they are completely concealed and covered, but you know that these are gatherers, and a gatherer only comes to collect and that is all. As they slowly come to approach your group, is there anything you wish to do in before their arrival? Uh, there's three guys coming up. Looks like they've got SOS signals on them. They're gatherers. They're usually going to you know, pay them something or they're going like to collect from some mission, you know. They're like logistics, basically. They walk up, and they walk past Roly. They walk past Eric. They walk past Galron. And they stop at Mina. The oh, three boy. of them. They look to the floor. They don't look up. They give off this weird shadow within. Imagine like a... Uh, like, a, what are they? What are they? Who's this in Star Wars? The little Houtini dudes. The Jawas. Jawas? Imagine like a Jawa, but their <laughs> eyes don't, there's no eye glow or anything. As, as if they were to look up, you'd be able to see their visage. But as they look down, they kind of give off this like mysterious vibe. They have completely covered, um, like gloved hands, preventing you from being able to see any skin tone or racial features of any substance of such. And they stare at the floor. They probably are about a foot short of them, Roly. And Roly, you're like, what? Just over, just around four? No, I'm pretty short. You're um... three? What are you? Those three, three. I am three foot three, three. three. So these dudes are about two, one. And <laughs> very tiny, very tiny. Just these three little meeples walking up to Mina as they stand around you with their hands out. What do you provide? Um... The rest of you are free to interact as you see this happening. This isn't some magical non- announced. You just see Mina surrounded by three little 
two two foot one individuals of humanoid nature. I'm also surrounded by a bunch of goblins. Correct. <laughs> but they are like they are pers- you you understand that they are there for Mina in what seems to be a passive manner. I'm gonna Friends of yours and give her all fifteen points of my on hands. Jin inquires aloud. Um do I recognize their like insignia? Or, like these these guys check out as they become yeah. closer of you. Yeah, they they them. definitely check out to be whom they are assumed to be. Such Mina would just say, "Yeah." Can I help you? Does anybody? No, none of you guys. Uh, let me see. I have, comprehend- I have comprehend language. Oh, you have it up, right? That that lasts as a cool yeah. minute. Yeah, okay. It lasts like go. an hour. Okay. So you hear that go off. Uh, okay, that's gone. So you don't. Does it tell you the language, or you just understand it? Right. It's just you just. I just understand it. it. If yeah, it's okay. written, I can touch it, and I can understand it. Gotcha. What language are they speaking? You don't know the language. I already know you don't know language architectures. <laughs> so, you guys just see like this grumbling about just like mm, tail, 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 tail. Mia, go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. Eat. <laughs> Twenty-one. It's not Luxodon, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very small Luxodon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tried. <laughs> It worked once. It did it work did, once. Did, That's did, why did. I'm asking. <laughs> Who knows when it'll work again? <laughs> Does it hurt to ask? Mina. Something just feels like it's seeping in your mind. Like their words are muffling your thoughts. You're almost going into like a trance. And then you hear something. Mina. Why are you being so difficult? You've been invited. You've been invited again. And here I have even sent the gatherers to acquire you for me. That is no simple task, as your friend Wooly. That is the goblin's name, yes? Oh, I love a performance. I fear fond things of these people you travel with. Do invite them. What was the last thing? Do invite them? Yes. I would turn to the crew and say, um, guys, um, so I, weird, weird shit just happened. Um, there's someone conversing with me. Uh, I have a sibling that I did not know about. And, uh, we are invited to, their manor. Uh, they sent the collectors to collect, so I suppose we're supposed to follow them? Uh, it seems that they don't like to be kept waiting because uh, I've received three uh, three invitations in the past, what, four hours? Give or take. Um, so it might be worthwhile to look into this. The rest of you guys here continue gurgle 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 The rest of you guys give me wisdom saving throws. <laughs> I got up to get a drink and this is what I get. <laughs> 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 it's fitting. Oops. Oli is just rolling so hot today, guys. Nope. You got a five. You can nice. Nice. Nicely done, Wiggles. I think we're, we all suck at wisdoms, is. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, so Eric, Eric got a nine. Eric, Eric's, Eric's got a pretty four. good. Yeah, Eric got it. Yeah, Eric got a nine. There, where's our paladin? Like auras and shit. How that bad is that bad dun, 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 dun. Jin and Eric. Why is it got around a paladin? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, if Mina actually dies for good, I'll play a paladin. Okay. <laughs> Jin and Eric, paladin. you block off this j- garbling gibberish, gibberish as the words come upon you in Passover. You do understand it to be a sense of communication. You both may allow it to pass through if you choose to, but you have the choice of resisting it during the entire part of the communication with the rest of the group. The rest of you, including Mina. Here. Hello. I'm sure you all think that it sounds just like Mina. And it does. It does sound very, very familiar to Mina's tone. Just with a bit more sass, one can say. However, it isn't. It's a... Hmm. Mina. Did you know you had a twin? Not just the sister. Oh, now you know. Ah, I figured you'd get used to the idea of looking yourself in the mirror. Some say I'm a splitting image of you. I don't like that. They also say you're older. Anyways, ignore my banter. You all are invited to this house. Amongst the inflamed district. Let's set it ablaze and see where we stand then after. Hmm? And then it checks out. Who speaks first? I told you I'm not crazy. Did somebody just invite us to burn their house down? <laughs> Seems rude not to. I'm talking about like the arsonist god or something. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to the house? We're gonna burn it down first, so we gotta go to a house. So you guys all will if you choose to go. Uh, Eric and Jen, unless they chose to, to ping in, they have no idea what happened. I mean, I'm down to go. Now who are you healing, Eric? The same person. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> the only one that Mina is getting closer to uh, well-being. I didn't let it go through, so I'm just doing cleric things. Mina, do you know where this house is? Do I know? Oh, wait, yes, because it said so in the letter. It's in the, um, what was the name of the district? Oh, well, her actual manner, but she invited you to, with the gatherers that are present here. She got, well, yes, you do know where she lives. It is in the Alvin, Alvin district of the Hollow, um, which is, in, Roly, you would know is the higher class, one of the higher class districts uh, amongst the Hollow rulers. And then uh, she technically invited you guys to a, a somewhere here in the Inflared to burn. Oh, within. okay. But um, you do know a bit, technically. Yeah. Then, I mean, I would just say, let's just take up the offer here first and then uh, go visit the manor at the, at the Rich Folk District. Seems burning like, uh, rich houses, I like it. I mean, I'm always down for burning shit. That sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, you guys head over to a this place. Well, you guys follow the little gatherers. Um, Eric, do you follow them as these little gatherers yeah, start to... I mean, I'm to, guessing to, they're to gathering them us. Forward? Like, that's what they're yeah, that's what do. they're doing. That's their goal, but <laughs> does, Eric, does Eric allow these little guys to herd him with the rest of you? Or Jin, no. for that matter. Jin, did you let it go through? It hurt me. Yeah, well, I they're attempting to. <laughs> they're just kind of like, kind of like Jawas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're very tiny though. Like literally, they're just kind of like kinda I could step horse on around them. you guys. You really wanted to try? <laughs> <They're> <laughs> sentient <laughs> creatures. <laughs> they have feeling. <laughs> it's possible. 
I won't say no. So we have our, that's why we have our whole society. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see how stumbly I am. I'll follow him, but let's see how stumbly I am. <laughs> uh, I'm not stumbly. You, you <laughs> seem to be caring very much about these small creatures. Uh, give me a history check to see if you can recall any information on such beings. There's the fours. Not a damn thing. As they bring you forward to none other than destruction amongst this inflared, you see houses to the left and houses to the left all on fire and leaving everything left to blaze. It's just a black screen. Imagine the home for right now. As the guys are brought inside, it is a basic, simple structure, stone, wood, maybe some marble here and there. It's been ransacked at least once or twice today, but there's still some window pane in place. There's like a nice table set across in a little spread. There seems to be a pot of tea that's boiling hot, yet not on top of a pan of any sorts or any kind of hot instance that can keep it in such nature. And then enough teacups for you all plus one. Not including the gatherers at all. They actually stop at the uh, border of the property as they kind of like shoo-shoo you guys forward to the structure of the building if you wish to enter or stay outside. Like they set up a whole table for us. Do you all heard anything bad about free food? an argument who wishes to go to said table or do you all wish to look around be suspicious there doesn't seem to be anyone around other than the festivity goers outside of the actual property area me and I'll go sit down oh me and you're still on my you do you get out of Am I? Uh, Eric's All right. arms well I get out of Eric's arms <laughs> you squiggle out of Eric's arms and trot off and I try and look for uh, something that includes a drink. You sit down and you see that the teacup before you already has a drink within. All of them do. Ooh. I'll sniff it. You sniff it with a deep breath. Oh, that's chamomile. Very pleasant. Relax. Looks like we're accepting the invitation. You guys are sitting down already. I mean, I do lose this looking around. Okay, Jen, give me I sit down with Mina and I feed a cup of tea to Sprinkles. All right, there happens to be a cup of tea for Sprinkles. Jin, as you look around, you feel like you're being pretty thorough. And everything looks good so far. Oddly enough, your suspicions stick, but... You can't find anything completely out of the balloon. Wiggles, give me a... I mean, sorry, Sprinkles. I regard if you want to roll for me, Sprinkles, a uh, constitution saving throw. This is just because it's not meant for Sprinkles. Like, it's just like, it's a hot tea, and they're like a little celestial. So, a d20 plus two. Let me know what you got, Wiggles. Jen, okay, you cast the tech magic. Very nice. Uh, Rolly, do you sit down at all? Um, I'm I take still ten minutes. The place but... out. I'd be okay. scoping out the outside. I'd be kind of on high alert here. Okay, go ahead and give Gotta me die. a perception check. Okay. Wig, uh, Sprinkles does not like this tea. He's not really <laughs> casting that, Jen. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. So ten minutes. <laughs> oh no, Rolly! Oh, Second no. in a row. Oh, no. Rolly, rolly. Not like rolly, this. Rolly. As you go like by Mina and Sprinkles and Wiggles, unbeknownst to you, you grab a cup of tea and you start patrolling, looking around, and you're taking zips, not even realizing that you finish your cup. Can you give me a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage, please? He's rolling bad enough. Why do you have to give him disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> He's beating himself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Both shit. 
we'll get to you, Roly, but to the rest of you all, Roly is doing a patrol. This property is probably about a five bedroom, two floor level. Roly heads up to the second floor. Daron sits down to join Yamina and Wiggles. Hmm, this tea looks nice. Allow me to check it first. If anything happens to me, at least uh, one of you more talented folk can do something about it. Fine, he takes a sip. Uh, yeah, as he goes to respond real quick, let me go and give him his own save. <laughs> mm. Indeed, splendid. Mm. Chamomile to the touch. And it might be a bit of honey. Mm. He seems like a little aficionado for a brief moment. And then puts on his cup and... <sighs> odd place. Very odd. Seems to be fine. Eric, what are you doing precisely? Not drinking the tea, because I don't trust <laughs> anybody's drinks. Where would you find yourself standing, so to speak, if you had to describe it yourself? In a corner. How watching. far from the group? Oh, where's the closest corner? Where's the well, furthest corner? Well, the closest corner is 15 feet. The furthest corner within sight? Well, I'll say about 45 feet across two halls in the living room. 15 feet, then. Okay, you stay at the closest corner. All uh, right. Is there anyone outside of the house? Just so I know where everyone is. Here, I'll even, I'll just draw a little thing real quick for you guys. There you go. I can totally do that. Let's see. Yeah. What's going on here? We got like Oh, actually, where's the middle corner? Just kidding. Where did this place <laughs> empty? It is a bit odd, like but it's empty. Really? He's out. He's upstairs. He's incapable of communicating with you guys further. Yeah. I, can, I can cast a message. Yeah, but you didn't corner. hear technically him ask you. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So obviously use your guys' imagination. I was going to cuss at you guys, but I decided to be nice and say just imagination. You could imagine what I would have said. Um, and this is your guys' little house. Now here, I'm going to put on the vision so that you guys can't actually see there's walls. I made a really bad, bad house. That's and, amazing. And boom. Can you guys see anything? Oh, there's like no light. Anyway. It's yeah. turned into a ghost. Oh, yeah. that's because you guys can't see inside. That's why. Nope. How about now? There should be lights uh, inside. Such a good house. Nope. Ah, nope. Nothing. What? Yeah, you can now. Once oh, you I can see it now. You just gotta move well, inside. You I, mean, gotta move I inside. turn into color in one spot, but. Yeah, it's tricky here. I'll just drag you all in and you guys can run around the house, get lost. There's nothing fancy. There's no furniture. You guys can't roll them. It's that simple. Well, there's furniture. You know what I mean. So the kitchen area is generally here. The farthest corner would have been here. The closest corner would have been the 15 feet, I would have said, here from where the general group was. Okay? So. Okay. This is your guys' very beautiful poor house, okay? Um, with that in mind. Wonderful. <laughs> Check here. Boom. There's the table. Bam. And then there's little chairs, and you know, you can imagine the rest. So, as you guys are in this building, and we got Rolly in the second floor, which there isn't a special map to, but you can imagine it's no, no bigger than said such. And Galron and Wiggles and at the table. Jin, do you join them? I'd join them, but I wouldn't be eating anything yet. You got it. You sit down and you join them. Sprinkles verified it was safe. It just doesn't taste good. It's just true. Mina would be holding the teacup, but would not be drinking any of it. You got it. Eric, something tickles your nose. Things only tickle your nose when it has to do with time. Something seems or fruit loops. wrong. Or Fruit Loops. Apparently Fruit Loops. As you look around, Eric, Mina fizzes in and out from your point of view. 
zoom, 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 zoom. Almost as if she is and isn't an M present at the same time and not at the same time, all at the same time, within time. And only you get this because of where you're from. This is called an anomaly. This anomaly seems to exist exactly where they're sitting. You don't have the equipment to do anything about controlling it, but you know that where they are, at any point in time, things can occur. Now, it's more or less than often, but it is a particular location in, one would say, space and time. So, only when she's there? No, where, like, that particular zone, like, not just the five feet area, but you imagine the whole table area is, like, where, from what you can see, you imagine, you can only see it affecting her. But you assume that it's more of a zone thing. It's not, it's more like a hot spot than it is. It could be the entire house, but you could never, it's not something you can look at yourself and identify, if that makes sense. Like, when you think you're seeing shit, that flicker is kind of like your gut sense from your own, from your, because you've traveled through time, you're able to notice these things, but you could not notice it in yourself, if that makes sense. Like you guys are just in a in a particular zone where it crosses multiple points uh, or moments. The rest of you at the table, as Eric stays quietly off to the side. R- Whoa, blah, 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 blah. Rolly, you coming downstairs? Yeah, I don't find anything upstairs. Okay. Yeah, nothing other than a view, but you're a little too distracted to take in much of it. Jen, you see that there seems to be less cups at the table than there are people all of a sudden. Mina is no longer holding on to one. Gowron is no longer holding on to one. Wiggles is no longer holding on to one, and Sprinkles is missing. Oh, shit. What do you do, Jen? There are three cups presented for you. You imagine yourself and Rolly can easily grab one if you wanted to, as neither of you have yet. Do you think Raleigh should we grab this cup? Yeah, I'll see why not. I know, Mina's holding her, so it's not on the table. What? Mina said she's holding her, right? So it's not technically no, on the table. I just blessed four people. Oh, Ooh. that's who you meant. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. I thought you were talking about the people with the cup. Okay, I'd probably have him pick That's it up. Oh, okay. I was literally, I thought you were listening. It was almost imperfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You'll probably pick it up and drink it, or? No, I wouldn't drink it. I would just pick oh. it up and kind of <laughs> inspect it, look at it, smell it. Smell the come on. Roll, yeah, give me an arcana check. Rolly, do you pick yours up? I mean, I already had one, apparently. I think I'd be good with one old True. cup of I'm just tea. Asking if you wanted to grab another. No worries. Good. There's one left on the table now. All of you guys notice this. It's almost weird. Nothing's disappearing, but nothing's appearing, but everything is there before you. Eric, you don't see the table, so you can't see the actual anomaly of that aspect, but the rest of them are experiencing this with little to any understanding. What was your uh, arcana check, uh, Jin? Did I? Is it? No, you didn't do it. I mean, I don't know if you rolled one. I didn't see one. There we go. Thank you. Let's go. You see a weird flicker amongst your party mates. Everyone but yourself and Mina. Rolly, you're holding it? Oh, no, you didn't touch it at all. Other than yourself no. and Mina, in your point of view, Jen, the rest. No. Mina. You come to see the same thing. Just you and Jen and Eric off to the side. Uh, should we be worried that they disappeared? Um, Roly and Wiggles and Gowron, you're still there. You hear all of this happening. That's bizarre. Are they, are they, are they there? Or they, mm-hmm. we just hear them? No, they're there. They're like talking, but talking like you don't exist. Hey, I didn't cast invisibility. Did somebody cast invisibility on us? Oh, who's talking? You hear them, but you don't see them. I'm right, I'm right here at the fucking what table the with you. How? 
I'm right what in front of your fucking face, going on here? I'm in your space. I'm fucking spinning in your face. Like, I'm your team is losing their minds. <laughs> Get out of my space. I don't like that. <laughs> I need my personal space. Rolly, do you try to make any contact with Mina? Yeah, I would. I would like try and like. And do you want to make contact with like Mina? You do. You can absolutely interact with Mina. Mina, you feel like your hair kind of flick, but everywhere, like where, like anywhere where Rolly makes any kind of contact, it feels like a brush of wind. It doesn't feel like someone is physically invisibly in front of you. It just kind of feels like a, a notion. What the fuck are you doing? Stop that! And I'll, I'll kind of like move off to the side, <laughs> like five feet. Okay. You, you just move up, hoping that things will cease. <laughs> 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 Eric, um, how do you act if you see any of this going on? Well, as you see, like, Mina, who do I see? You only see Mina because you can't see Jin from where you stand. Would I be able to detect the magic that's going on? Or oh, correct. I totally forgot that you casted that. My bad. Uh, as you cast a detect magic. Everyone is glowing. The tea is all glowing. You see faint glows of four cups that are not visible on the table. Uh, uh, and the school of magic is transmutation. I think this tea is special. Huh. Maybe we're, we are supposed to drink it. Maybe it's not poisoned. Take a sip of it. Yeah. Okay. And you take a sip, you take a sip. Go ahead, both of you guys give me wisdom saves. Eric, it sounds like both of them are slurping. <laughs> do you do anything other than watch them? Or watch her at the very least? I just observe. He just observes. Yauron, Roly, oh, no, Wiggles, Mina, Engine. You all are together again. In the same exact spot you already were. Just this time, no cups. Another individual. Welcome. Where'd the cups go? Oh, I had them removed. Wait, the you guys that? all see Mina in the south of the room speaking to you all. Hey, how'd you get over there? Oh, I was standing here the whole time. Ooh, very good. You were at the table. Eric. They are behind total cover as long as you stand there. You can't see where they are, so you, they're considered behind I total can't cover. Move at all, so. Oh, you can't move? Weird. There you go. Can you move now? Think anybody can move? No. My, it says I collide with okay. walls everywhere. So. Oh, well, quit trying to drag yourself halfway across. Just follow your exit. I'm trying to you can't see in there, which spot. makes sense. You can't, we can't there see, you the, we can't see the walls yeah, of the I know. building. I know. You're never supposed to see the walls. The light does that. <laughs> it's okay. I know. There weren't real walls. I just kind of made it up. I mean, there is walls, but like, you know, I just made up the drawing real fast. So technically, you guys can see anything. So, Eric, as you find yourself in a position, didn't you use divine sense as you walk forward to see what the hell happened to all of your friends? Do you, is it both? Yeah, it's both. Okay. Pins from. For you, Eric, one, two, three is considered undead. You don't you like you don't know it's your members. You just know you just sense three undead, one fiend, and two celestials. And you get an outline of all of them, and you can make out, I guess, your party members based off of that. And your He's own visual outline. Room. What are you doing? No, he knows. He knows that it was you guys present there. He like at the entire time he saw them, you guys disappear. <laughs> oh, he man, used no, it to trigger just the sense. But in for whatever reason, that's how Eric perceives it. 
And there's great reasons why Eric perceives that and that he can understand. And nonetheless, in doing so, you don't, yeah, I mean, you still don't know which one is who or what for Mina in that regard. But yeah, what do you wish to do outside of that, Eric? Anything? Can, can you like make markings of which one was which? I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out. Well, let me bring everyone back real quick, just in the sense that you can see them. And we'll say A, B, and C. These guys that are blooming are considered the undead. He is considered the fiend. And they are considered the celestials. Can't see any of it, but I know I'm glowing, which is upsetting. (laughs) Uh, I also knew that she was there. You also knew that Mina was present. Yes, presently positioned there. Yeah. So this is the only one that's weird in comparison to where everybody was before they disappeared. That is, this is the only non-verified individual, technically outside of Sprinkles not being present. But you didn't know that either. So I would say, give me a insight check because you're pretty wise ass. So I figured you'd try to discern the situation. Wow. You still pulled that one off. Yeah, that's definitely not Sprinkles. <laughs> I poke at it. Can I you don't make it? any contact. You poke toward it, and uh, the, the, the room here is, or well, they here, they see you, you ambiance. <laughs> I'd say it tickles if I felt it. Mina, does everyone come at you in this way? With your looks, I mean. I could only imagine. Um, you know, every now and then they used to, but not since I got with these guys. <laughs> A shame, really. I mean, at least you don't die all the time. Oh, wait. That, yeah. that also happened more with these guys. Do you let your friend Eric know that if he just drinks the tea, you can join us in this conversation and enjoy the warmth of a glow instead of burn with us? I mean, Eric can hear this, but she's purposefully not directing it toward him. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if someone was going to cast that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. You roll me a D, join. Or roll me your, yeah, roll me a check. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what do you want to do? do, 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 do. Spell casting ability. So. So D20 plus. Prisma? No, it's just, it'd be, I think it's your spell, D- your spell attack. DC is 10 plus right? spells. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't know spell level, but he knows it's at least 10. <laughs> Or at least yeah. eleven. No, no, at least thirteen technically. No, fourteen technically because that'd be over three. Yeah, it has to be at least fourteen. I know, but what is my rolling as my? It's your attack modifier, plus, I believe. Your spell casting modifier. Your... Our ability, your spell casting probably, ability. What's clerics are probably charisma, plus, right? Wisdom. 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 Okay. Never <laughs> like that. Okay. Is it a level seven spell? You cast the spell magic. I need you to give me a constitution saving throw soon. As you go to focus on the magic before you, you oh, oh you no. really go strong as you hit this Ooh. barrier. You feel like this force as all of the individuals around you, including your allies, start to like give off this weird deep deep fragmentation so to speak as you kind of see them glitch in and out though they don't experience this you witness this and then instead you find yourself second wrong button go into this and boom you find yourself inside of a building the same building with everything on fire the image is a bit squished Sorry about that. But uh, nonetheless, you find yourself in an inflamed home as 
promised and advertised as the entire room is set ablaze as if you had jumped through spots of time and found yourself now here due to a, ref- a reflect of the spell. And you still sense everyone in there. The odd thing about this flame is it's giving you the heat, but none of the physical aspects outside of the temperature. You know you are safe. This is all part of the course. Is there any other actions you wish to take, Eric? So, nothing ended. Something ended. Something instead of reflected against you and pushed you into, you forced the time forward basically into the burning of the home, and you know that you were much further in the timeline than probably assumed where those would be standing. But everyone is still present in your in your understanding. The rest of you guys actually see all of this, but you know at this point now as this happens, you guys probably jump as you see the flames just immediately rise. But you'd be quickly informed by Mina. Don't worry, don't worry. We are safe in the ethereal. Your friend, however, will be safe as long as I find them humorous. They're interesting. Do you all know they don't belong here? No. What do you mean? I don't think we knew that. The individual with you is a time traveler. They have been to the end. They've probably been to the beginning. And now they are here. Interesting. What's so interesting about you all, other than the fact that I have a twin, that this individual would be with you? Hmm. Eric, you are still privy to all of this verbal, uh, just not visual outside of you being in the room, ablaze alone, but non harmed by the flames. How <clears throat> do the rest of you wish to respond? I would just ask, how did you find me? <laughs> We're twins. And I'm magical. You, not so much. Let's just say Mother didn't give us both blessings. You might have got more of the cunning, but in time, one can study. Oh, one can absolutely study. But where I was given an, a real gift called power, wealth, a father, as descriptable as they may have been, I would not say I did not piggyback off of one success to gain another, to create my own. But let's just say... It's been quite trivial, much more than I'd anticipate. But here you are. So, General, oh, go ahead. Now that we meet, what, uh, I mean, This is all really sudden, you'll have to excuse me. I just never expected that I would ever find myself in a situation like this. Well, let's just say it could have been simpler. But you decided to hide. Very far away from father. I don't blame you, but we could have been sisters. We could have been family. We could have been many possible. But you chose to be a harlot. And I don't judge you, but I wish to offer you an opportunity to leave behind The struggles. I want to ask Mina, like with a whisper. Okay. You, you trust her? Fuck no. Go ahead, Eric. Roll. I'm just gonna do a wisdom save because it's equivalent. So. Okay. As you say fuck no and Roly asks you a question, all of you, 
find yourselves in a unique location. As you hear, wait, what? Oh, you. As everything goes black. Literally, you can see each other just floating in nothing. Eric, what? You see you literally do? two meanies. Two meanies. Two meanies. Sorry. You see two meanies. That's, that's your nickname. <laughs> two of you. Oh, mean. <laughs> Minions? <laughs> <laughs> you see two <laughs> um, you guys obviously know which is yours and which isn't but you do nonetheless still boggled and all see two minas floating about in space with all of you Eric now present and the particular mina south of you all shoot a shot or sneer at Eric and go ahead your friends are clearly capable but that is not me to blame for where we are there you all at you're all free floating. You guys are literally whatever direction you think you're floating, you're floating, but you're all present within each other. Are we in like a void or are we still in this? You can sure guess or ask, but you don't okay. know. What is it? What, what's this? What are our surroundings? Is it all on fire still? It's or? All, no, you are completely in just nothing. You are just in limbo if one had, one had a verbit. I would not say you are are in limbo, but you feel as if one is just Eric. Eric's here now too. Everyone, yep. All of you guys are just like boop. Eric just kind of like hit a button and boop. You all appeared, including himself, in nothing. I would ask uh, the twin. I would ask. So, what what is your name? You just signed your letters as M S. But you yes. clearly know my name. Yes. Ah, uh, Mina. You like to call yourself Mina. I don't like it. I think Aura would have been better, but... Ah, uh, Mina was the name my mother gave you. I understand why you'd abandon it like you did her. You better watch it. <laughs> oh, I've been watching, dear sister. I am equally unimpressed as I am impressed. Count yourself valid with me. I definitely believe in your existence. She almost seems mocking, but with it at the same time, you feel as if she's stabbing into the deepest of truths. She doesn't mean for the, fa for the facade of things. She doesn't mean the front end of it. She means what it means to those who know. The rest of you guys, how do you act? As you guys literally are watching, technically what this entire scene, if I had to turn this into an image for everyone to witness, it would be Mina having her confrontation with a twin sister that she didn't know existed while Eric is literally trying everything he can to interrupt this entire meeting. <laughs> He's like fizzing out the short circuit system, taking out all the lights, and all of you guys are now free floating around and Rolly's doing front flips. <laughs> <laughs> So let's start with Jin. Where is your where, where is Jin's mind at? You felt this ping the entire time, only to feel as if this is part of an essence that brought Mina to something, not yourself. But yet you're potentially connected. Who knows? Just believe at everything that's going on right now. Uh, is there a way out? you ask that aloud is that kind of something you're yeah. directing yeah i'm directing towards this other mina like how do we get out of here she looks toward eric quizzically i didn't do this oh so we just manifest you to avoid for fun yeah <laughs> no i told you he was a time traveler and he wanted to mess with time magic. He, he dispelled something I had in sequence. It's not my fault he mingled without asking. I could have just told him what to do. Why didn't you speak to me, Eric? I don't trust you. It's like, seems like you ah, don't know trust. Hmm. Yet you trust this one and you don't even know who the real Mina is. What if I told you MS stood for Mina Sinclair the Shah? 
Would you be able to tell me that Armina has ever showed you any sense of identity? In fact, she probably told you she was a rogue runaway. A harlot. A charlotte. And someone who just speaks her way through things and gets away. Have you ever actually you shut seen up. any sense of proof of who she is? Yeah, has she ever showed you any be... sense of family? You don't know what I had to go through. You don't know what our mother had to suffer through. <laughs> You think that the gift packages or the attempts to reach out were our father constantly harassing your family, your family, my mother and you? No. I knew from the beginning. She would visit us when she was away for extended times and you were by yourself, fending off of the loaf of bread she left behind, maybe not enough sometimes. She would never accept what it is we had, but she wouldn't give me up either, at least not completely. She chose you, and I still don't see one. Broly, where is your mind facing all of this? That's what I would cast if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Can I respond? Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah, like it's, 20, yeah, it's 20 words so, or yeah, you got twenty five. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a Twitter per, Twitter post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real quick, before you respond, Mina, give me a wisdom saving throw. Sure. She's getting at you, man. She's she's working you, and you ain't really getting comebacks in, man. Let's go. Oh, you are dead fast. You are not twenty hanging on, but you realize that. The game is as Roly says. If you don't get, if you don't figure her out or what's going on, she might do exactly what he thinks, and you don't know how, but it's it sure is seeming that way. And it's pretty fucking convincing if you ask me. I don't know about you guys. You know what? Everyone, including Mina, at Mina at advantage, but the rest of you, including Mina, inside checks. Inside checks. I have advantage on those. I practically have advantage on those. I'll take a 10 at this point. <laughs> Rolly finally hit higher than a 11, guys. Congratulations, yeah. Rolly. For only so yeah. far into well, this I session. rolled a 10. I rolled a 10. I got a yeah. 14. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, but a total count, you know? Okay. Sure. What'd you get, uh, Wiggle? Sorry. 18. 18. Okay. Wiggles, Mina, Jen, and Rolly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. Thank you. You guys get get a little conflicted. Mina yourself, you you don't know why you're questioning this. It un, unbeknownst to the rest of the group and complete outside of medicines. She isn't wrong. She's like 100% nailed it on the head. But there were things you didn't know, and she's filling in gaps that could or couldn't be true. Would your mom really do that? You're a little confused yourself because you didn't know anything going into this, and now you really know nothing. And yet everything she speaks of seems to hit a piece of home that was once precious to you. And now you find yourself puzzled. However, for Eric... Let me see. I believe it's just Eric that passed. Yeah. Eric. As much as you don't want to admit it to yourself, I'm going to message you. <laughs> the rest of you may continue to interact. Do you know what your, what our precious father did <laughs> our father created us granted us with the opportunity to become everything and gave us granted any opportunity you we have the opportunity no, to... us you were born first and he you cast were wanted mother out first. no mother casted him out when he realized he had two the potential of power with two instead of one that looked the same. 
the horrible ideas father had for the two of us, yes, might have been outrageous for the mother to accept. But I would say, if you understood that mother just didn't want to accept that maybe she already knew who the stronger of the two sisters were, who would need more care and less, who could or couldn't take care of themselves, perhaps she felt like she had to lower her nobility that you believe she never had, that you were told that never existed, that she was just another harlot on the street like you chose to follow in the sense of a path of a lie the entire time. I have sought you out to provide to you what was never given this entire time. I've collected, I've gathered, and I finally found. And yet you don't believe me. And why, why do you care so much? For someone you've never known your entire life, why do you give a shit about what happens to me? Let's just say that your well-being and mine might matter more than you think. I didn't find you by chance. I always knew where you are. But you know how hard it is to, and the resources needed to travel the distances that you ran. Father never gave you up. He was always watching. Every single time you face somebody, a challenge, someone forcing their way at you, for you, during your business and the people you had to kill. I was always in preparing you for me, as I requested. It is time, Mina, that you accept the fact that you have a purpose amongst royalty and nobility that you are now prepared for and can now survive. Consider this a graduation of sorts. And what is my purpose, then, if you would be so kind as to elaborate, dear sister? What would you say if you had something that I needed, and if I took it, you would allow to persist, but forever with me? Wait, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? So she goes, what would you say if you had something that I needed? But you would forever persist just with me. That sounds extremely cryptic. <laughs> do you want your friends to know the entire royal blood secrets? Or do you not respect any sense of... As... <laughs> Gaddy Ball blasts from the scenes in the middle of the void. As negotiations are halted. As this blast absolutely makes contact, Mina, I need you to give me a constitution saving throw as your twin takes this hit. Just... And you feel like a tinge. Go ahead and roll your damage. <coughs> as for whatever purpose is rendered, you feel connected. They both begin to glow. You ah. see, oh, whoops, wrong thing. You guys all witness both Minas just take a hit. Ah. Ah. See, sister, they aim to harm us. I kind of look at Eric and. Do you say anything, Eric? Odd. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that again. And here I thought it'd be foolish to body link you. Ah. 
had I not known already how reckless your friends were. <sighs> well, it's smart to have an insurance policy, so. I learned that from you. I never considered keeping people forcefully as a benefit, but now that I rule the elven community of the Hollow, I find it quite pleasant. From the highest towers holding council meetings, telling everyone what to do, threatening them with an army that may or may not exist. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. Power sister. I'll allow you to bring a few friends along if they behave. So are you the one that made that threat? About the rats? What threat? Do tell. I will punish whoever did. At least if it was toward my sister. The, um... <sighs> and I'll describe, like, the, uh... The, uh, vision that we were told of. You speak of giants attacking us, and you think I would fabricate such a threat for what reasons? What do I gain from telling you that we're all going to die? Spread fear, chaos, I don't know, create Just a power you vacuum. All? Your pamphlets hardly touched any souls. It looked like children had drawn them. There was a couple good ones, but the imagination is for the lost of all souls. I'm practical. I have not seen a ship in such manner ever. Particularly giants on ships. You know how big they'd have to be to carry such massive beings. I highly doubt they waste such time. They enjoy the mountains way too much. At least, that is the only place I know of. Is that Goblicon himself? Do play us a tune. <laughs> like floating around in the background. <laughs> 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 like anti gravity spins. Like. You got it. Do you want to drop a beat for her at all? Maybe. We'll see. Anna, that is quite pleasant. I guess you have some decent company. I wouldn't say you have none. No, I did not threaten you and your friend. Eric. Do you believe that there is something foregoing that I have not spoken of? I feel like you have something against me, seeing you have purposefully diffused any and all treatments in which I tried to gesture to you all. I even provided a nice cup of chamomile to you. And you did not drink it. I'm insulted. So should Mina. Seeing it as her family after all, you disrespected multiple times, I might add. And now I give you attention. Don't be nice, Eric. She killed Sprinkles. <laughs> she didn't kill Sprinkles. She's a member of the council. <laughs> She can literally. I hear a lot off. of issues. <laughs> I hear a lot of titles going around. Sprinkle killer, non sprinkle killer, council members. I don't know. How do you respond, Eric? I did have one question. Go for it. About this constitution save. Uh huh. Um, never mind. I don't really care too much. But I mean, was that a failed con save? For Mina? Yes. Because they were blessed, but that's Ooh, oh, bless. uh, not only last in the prop, but the prop but, oh, yeah, it only lasts a minute, yeah, 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 same thing. Oh, no, wait, bless isn't a minute, it's concentration as long as he's holding it, isn't it? Bless is like 10 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, bless is, uh, is, 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 is 10, 10 minutes. minutes, not one minute. I'm wrong, it is. Oh, shit. Wow. it says one minute in the, in the thing, yeah, fair enough, savage. Okay, yeah, fair point, fair point. Uh, but do you have any other questions? <laughs> was that all that was eating you up? <laughs> uh, but I mean, I obviously don't. I mean, I am kind of confused right now. Um, would Eric have any knowledge about this whole body link? 
you would know it exists. She's spoken, uh, um, it is. What it is. It is, it is it. You would know that you could dispel it. Yeah, but you would understand that the reason why it wasn't is because you dispelled something else. Like you, you understand for Eric's POV and meta understanding, you understand that spells can stack in the sense of uh, buffering. Mm. Very often, uh, high end, like very very powerful casters will cast multiple facades to allow smaller casters to waste their most powerful spells against them to try to debuff one of them of themselves, knowing that it is futile. Uh, you know, and that is a strategy that is very common because when they have the powers and the items, etc., they are. You know, you have you have seen all of the wars, all the battles of the greatest and greatest, and they have all came ridiculously prepared with items that have never existed to anyone until they were the ones that found them. You have seen legends become what they were, and you have seen everything fall apart all the way to the point where where you stood at one point you thought was your last, and yet you were here so far somewhere else that there's so much life and death that you're not even sure where the actual time is going, forward, backwards, or even just staying still. You do understand that in this immediate moment, this body linking magic is not as rare as it should be uh, due to the fact that it is passed through bloodlines. And there were seven bloodlines originally that got it, and it has spread successfully through 40. And in such, in this particular region, there are five, and the Lashar is one. You didn't put it together right away because Mina didn't seem like the person that had that kind of magical entity to them due to the fact that they didn't take that class route, but have now come to understand that there is maybe something potentially within Mina as you see it now in the sister, because this is not something that can be, pa uh, be casted upon somebody more so than exist within them. So I will give you that with your very high checks that you have rolled throughout this entire process of discerning this situation at hand. So it's not a curse, it's actually a spell. I know yeah. That. Okay. And well, it's an and it's hereditary, uh, hereditary in which where it can be it, used. It's not I something that can be used on any spell though. You know that it can be stopped, yes. And I know that I I guess I have a feeling that I used two of these potential barriers maybe potentially yeah these facades yeah you Since would get now happened. you would as you as it's starting to stack against you you're like finding it odder and odder as you're breaking down and you know digging into your studies realizing that she's she's she probably is someone who has used one of these strategies or is currently using such and in that case i'm going to hopefully baby hope and try one more time okay you guys see eric yet again <laughs> go about Fabricating a dispel magic. Go ahead and roll for me. <laughs> Can I see him doing this? Oh yeah, That's you guys see him do. constantly doing some flicker, flicker, flicker. Is it stuff. a How level seventeen it? spell? It is a level twenty spell, good <laughs> sir. But yes, I as think you level cast. Hmm? As you go about casting a spell upon her, she kind of looks at you. Checks out a deep breath. <sighs> well, Mina, I will not tell you my name until you have earned a bit more of a trust with me. Our time together has expired today. Eric, I will be more formidable against you. Until next time. And she's going to go snap her fingers. Do you guys do anything before she does it? She kind of does it in like a slow motion. She's being very dramatic. She's definitely showing off her intent. Does anyone take any actions against her? No. Um, I'm going to reuse a reaction. I want to cast want to cast Motherfall. <laughs> <laughs> That's so smart. Oh my god. That is a very good scene to provide to oneself. <laughs> Anyone else wish five, to do anything? Five falling creatures. So I'll get okay. one, two, three. The I entire team should this. be covered, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyone else do anything? <laughs> what about, oh wait, yeah, we got Gowron in here. Yeah. Jin can fly, so I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, like on demand. Um, <clears throat> but nonetheless, 
Uh, uh, well, I just want to test it, I guess. And I'm going to do a cantrip, I guess, and hope to hit and see what happens. See if the damage still transfers, because I think Mina has enough life to okay. not die from my cantrip. So. <laughs> you throw an attack at her. Oh, why did oh is it a saving throw for me first? Sorry. Yeah, it's 17. A, it's, yeah, it's a DC. Dex. It's Mina clone doing dex saves. I think it should be Oh, fine. no! Oh, cursed! <laughs> oh, no, laugh. You uh -huh. fling it at it. Fail. You do. Fail. One second. She quickly, she sees it come at her. She as she's like right about to go snap her fingers. She looks toward um, Eric and flings her hand toward you using a reaction and response. And you see the secret flame as it hits right before where her hand is reflects out. Mina, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as it starts directing in your direction. Like she purposefully ricochets it in your direction as she uses redirect. And you dodge out of the way. And then she wavers away and looks directly at Eric dead in the eye and just mouths bye-bye. Oh, my, my thoughts are correct. Then. <laughs> Your thoughts are pretty strong. <laughs> As you all find yourselves oddly gliding slowly to the floor of an alleyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> First level spell slot for the win. <laughs> ah, and end up in an alleyway. Unsure which, but as you look up into the sky, it's a beautiful day above. And you imagine it is definitely not outside of the hollow walls, because it is much cleaner than it has been in the overhaul alley. What the fuck? Damn, I'm glad I learned how to do that. <laughs> I really fell off that bridge last time. I fucking looked up a guy who used to know a trick how to do that. I probably would have died falling out of that fucking cloud. Really seems to uh, disregard what just occurred. <laughs> As he recollects the past. <laughs> <laughs> you got a clone? Or is it not a sister? Which is it? That, that is a sister that I didn't know I had until just a few moments ago. You said she was on the fucking council. It's crazy. Look, this, this, is, this is all new to me. This is, this is crazy. I... Uh, I. This is. This doesn't make any sense. She was saying You're all these things. You're connected to some pretty powerful people. She can do all that. I didn't know about any of it. You have what to believe me. I genuinely it? didn't know. Now that you know, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> but I think antagonizing her that way probably wasn't the greatest move. Yes, but uh, I don't think you're connected as you once were. Jin, even, give me an Arcana check. Go ahead, continue though. Even so, I wanted to hear her out more. I feel she was very devious plans for you. It was not going to... The more we heard, the more we probably wouldn't have you. She got sprinkles and she wanted to steal your liver. I say we just let it go. <laughs> your liver. <laughs> <laughs> The whole liver? <laughs> like, like no, like you that even part? <laughs> no, the whole liver. 
He didn't seem like the kind of sheriff. <laughs> You're right. Power does weird things to people. And if she's amassed that much power, then only who knows what she went through and did to get it, to attain it. Yes, but she still like the charitable type. She still yeah, lost her trump gonna... card today. Can we just attack her Mina and beat her up? Immense. I M M E N S E. Immense. Oh, no. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. So it's just me. Okay. Well, I mean, I hear you guys. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I found part of my mouse. Weird. Ignore me and my mouse issues. As I'm doing everything else right now. I don't know what the heck happened. Weird. So who knows how to spell immense? Uh, immense. It's I am oh, right there. He put it in the chat. Yeah, hmm. it's I am. Um, oh, I didn't. I'm not looking at the chat. Sorry, I was just. I was legit typing too. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sending Jen information, and I kind of think of the words. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm listening yeah. to you guys. I'm also taking notes. Uh, like I spelt it, then you didn't reply, so then I put it in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> My bad. I was like so focused on trying to get this message out to him because he wrote really well. All right. One second, I'm about to hit send, and then we can continue on to the oral. Just beating up Armina and beating up her twin at the same time. <laughs> I would prefer not to get beat up. Yeah, but if we beat up your twin at the same time, isn't it kind of worth it? No, <laughs> because I have to suffer the pain. It's not worth it. Do you, you. do you not understand what I said? <laughs> she proved to me that your link is broken. Oh, it is. I attacked her and she tried to use it to attack you because she would have taken the damage, not you both. But she ran away. Well, she did, but her link isn't there. I think her link was only there as long as we were in that. Uh, uh, power she's got. <laughs> I have no idea. You realize I used. Well, I guess maybe you don't realize I used many dispel magics to get to the point where you had no link anymore. <laughs> I no, I'm aware of that, but I think she set it up so that it would work in that area and once we would come back here that link would no longer be there anyway and i think the link was just an insurance policy in case we tried to gang up on her can i explain what i know about this yeah, you wish with to. what you said yeah so i would explain the link is connected yes. via hereditary yeah you can break family. it down in that aspect yeah. yes okay. uh, there's more to it yeah. yeah okay go ahead eric yeah so i mean like can you i give a better definition? Oh, you want, okay so yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so yeah, <laughs> no, I'll go ahead I, I, no 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 there's more to it there's okay, way more okay, okay, yeah okay. he's he's he was role playing to a t so he was really just trying his best to like let you guys know but it was really hard for eric to just explain it for reasons <laughs> <laughs> so basically, there is uh, there are very powerful uh, individuals that exist in the world that have learned unique types of magic that have learned to create existing non concentrated layers of magic between themselves and their opponents, forcing individuals to go through multiple layers of fake protection to attack their strongest of spells. So Eric is informing you in a very very positive, assertive understanding that the share in which like the like that, that that body link connection that has been ever casted on you since apparently you were ever born and your father always kept tugged steadily, he broke. Like there is no official tracker actively upon you as Mina mm -hmm. anymore. Even though you didn't know it existed, he removed it completely. Okay. 
compared to where, unbeknownst to you, it has been active. And it was very difficult to get to. <laughs> he was really using a million spells at once to really make this possible. He was pushing the limits. And then I tested it with a cantrip because I knew if she was going to take the damage and not both of you, she wouldn't allow it to hit her. <laughs> and she proved that by not allowing it to hit her. <laughs> she made that very clear to me. <laughs> Eric mm -hmm. uses a scientific method. <laughs> And I cast a spell that I yeah, knew wouldn't kill you. <laughs> but yeah, so as such, you guys are finding yourselves in, your, in an alleyway. Is with us? You'd have to resummon him. He killed Sprinkle. <laughs> 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 I, I tried to kill her too. Sorry. I think Sprinkles is like South Park. He's always. <laughs> He's like Kenny. So... Kill Kenny. <laughs> he did pretty good though That's in the very... spider fight. Yeah, no, he does solid stuff when he when he is not killed. Vino would turn to uh, Eric and say, "Is the whole time traveler thing real?" Is that true? Perhaps. I mean, he's we... friends with Wolfric, and Wolfric definitely took the time. Again, not All have time. this conversation here. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Alright, let's try and get back to <laughs> our hideout. <laughs> Out. You guys go to <laughs> somehow venture back home. Roly, it's been a while since you've been inside the legit borders of Hollow because they require a couple security clearances and you might have been a little Raffinian beforehand. Though you're a bit of a patron, you haven't walked back into the Hollow borders pretty much since you've met all of these assholes. So you're not really 100% certain where you are. But I'll allow you to give me a survival check to see if you can pick up anything of your surrounding. All right. You know where you're going. You direct them down this shady ass alleyway with unique hologram signs and plants being born out of little dumpster pots, and you hover up this huge stairway, and this stairway is leading them all the way to the top of the wall. This isn't particularly a method out, more so as it is a method of departure, one can say. This is a zip line that'll go down to where it's close enough to the kinker to walk over a couple more treads, but you guys all gotta hold on. How would you relay such information? Gowron is aware of this, but to the rest of the group. I guess I'll take the rip down. And point to this, like, rickety, like... <laughs> Goblin constructed <laughs> zip line. Probably noticeable, like if you lit up, I'm guessing. Are there are other people on it. Or is it just him? Uh, no. Uh, it's more like kind of like present. It's not like a like a like a like a, ride, like a like yeah. It's literally just where people just take the risk if they want it. It's just present. Someone built it and it's been there. And it's not the safest looking fucking thing. A lot of people have fallen, broken, died, etc. And above, but it's still there and nobody's taking it down. <laughs> it's been <laughs> And so, what do you say? Rolly can cast Featherfall again, so he's fine going down. <laughs> I could yeah, fly. But, so but we could fall really slowly to the <laughs> abyss that we're falling. Into the abyss, yes. <laughs> it's just through the sea. It's not like the abyss. <laughs> it, it was some solid planning originally. No, that was a good. That was that was very that, very good like, thinking. A, a feather fall to the this zip line, yeah. <laughs> to wherever it's taking us. I mean, if Rolly goes on it, Mina you know, would probably follow him. To be honest, 
with very valid reasoning. So, what do you all wish to do? You guys all wish to go down it? No problem? Just everyone? Boo, 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 boo. Are you hesitant still? I mean, I would watch someone do it first. <laughs> like, I'm not going to just blindly grab onto this. Um, like you an Eric and a server, not a just a. <laughs> I'll test it. But a believer. It. There you go. I'll test it. You got it. Uh, Roly, it's a goblin. It's I'm a goblin. It's goblin. Got a goblin to do. Going straight down, <laughs> which sounds really fucking bad, <laughs> but he makes it all the way out of sight to where he's like a little ping. Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> and you imagine he landed because you guys hear like a noise. A real nasty, slow chug. You guys have about five or so minutes before this fucking thing gets pulled all the way back automatically. So, well, Rolly's all the way down there. You're totally safe. Okay, next. Everything's normal in Gucci. You do have to wait. Is there anything you guys wish to do in between that five minute period? Summon sprinkles. <laughs> you said you what? Oh, you summon. It's not five minutes. I think it takes like an hour to summon sprinkles. I think it is an hour, at least ten minutes, right? Minimum. No. Right. But I know you want them. I know. I know. Poor sprinkles. Uh, like so. Rolly could have just teleported us back home, right? But he just wanted to <laughs> take us through this. Uh... I don't have a teleportation to anywhere. I'm teleported to two places. <laughs> you want to go to the desert? <laughs> so. You guys all eventually take your times going down. Everyone else, please give me. If you are proficient in acrobatics, you can do acrobatics. If you are not, it is a athletics check. Well, I'm proficient in athletics, at least. It's an athletics if you're not proficient in acrobatics. Mm. Ooh. That'll do. Damn. <laughs> Eventually, over a prolonged 25 minute period of time, everybody looks really good coming down. Jin, do you take the passage? Okay. You oh, yeah. go down. You feel the wind billowing past you. Jin, can you please give me a wisdom check? As you're ziplining down, you probably hit about the midway point down. Very beautiful. Oh, oh. As a gin, you're hovering down and you hear almost like an echo around you as the wind is billowing through your hair and amongst your robes and garments. You hear gin, gin, gin. You hear a calling to you. In this moment, you can respond. Who's there? You don't recognize your master's voice. It's been some time. It has. You have met her? I felt it. You talking about the twin? If that is what you saw, then that is what it must be. She is one, yes? Yes. Pursue it. And you find yourself landing on your feet in front of none other than Mina. And then you look to the rest of your group and you are present with them. Wiggles, what did you roll? Three. A three? Oh, 23. Got 20, 23. Oh, 23. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a three. Okay, crazy. Wow. 23. You see Wiggles. Is his like, character sheet not even accurate? Uh, he's got oh, a really in, high in acrobatics. In D&D Beyond? He has a high acrobatics. Yeah, he's a oh, his character sheet. No, 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 no. I never imported his character sheet. It was whatever. But this is like way old. Oh, like, so he yeah. is actually proficient in acrobatics? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because okay. be. I'm like, look at he's not proficient in anything. No, yeah. No, don't trust his character sheet. That was just me making it, and I've just been like 
Well, making it i've been finagling it to work so, because i control his character so i've been lazy about his character I'm terrible that i can't yeah. ever trust anything i have no clue nope. if he's and i do that because dead. Don't i don't know, know if he can be i don't need to know what my actual party is i mean <laughs> as a healer nice. yeah i do need to know <laughs> if the irl uh, life difficulty turns yeah. actual things that healer needs to know <laughs> How much yeah, HP does he have left? Wiggle. I don't know. His intestines are hanging out. When you make it <laughs> <laughs> it's also a level lower than us. Yeah, this is like everything that's that I, I control him. So I a trust cleric him does I is at looking at every single character sheet <laughs> all the time, back and forth. I guess it makes wondering checks, if they like, need relevant. to save spells. <laughs> <laughs> I purposefully use Wiggle's character as like a fodder for my own use. Like it, he has never put it in. I it has just been me using this, building his little character as I need fit. And then he tells me if it's wrong, and I'm like, okay, I'll fix it. So that's why I usually have him tell me the rules because mine's mine's incorrect. So I already knew that going in. So I apologize. Um, yeah, I'm like <laughs> looking at it. I'm like, well, Wiggle's is gonna die. <laughs> Easy goner. <laughs> so, uh, Wiggles, easy enough. All of you guys get across. Now, you guys find. Now, did you guys want to go to the Kanker and Pep, or did you want to go to the Route Court? I don't even know what's the difference. Yeah, Route I Court, you have all of your like. <laughs> Route Court's like our, our The Kanker base. is the bar and the and the Goblin hold. I think we should I check on say, the. Uh, the. I would say yes. Yeah. It sounds like we uh, need to check on those guys who are just being drunken fools. They had to the going to the drunken we fools. I need to resummon there anyway. You so. see, yeah. you they are all sleeping. You know where? Where are they sleeping? <laughs> Every single uh, bit. I'm, I'm using minor illusion to make an alarm sound. <laughs> I'm about to go crack some skulls. Yeah, Ron. All right. Mantric Alron is in charge now. Oh, wait. Why does Eric have no vision? Jesus. Is it dark? No, he's not. Is it it's the middle of the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the middle of the day. Yeah, you just oh, literally, okay. your character token has just no vision for some people. Well, I've asked that before, too, but I never got that answer. So. I mean, I know well, I don't have dark vision. It's like if I place the token but... in the beginning. Like, like, so if I place this token like five sessions ago, say, then literally it would never update. So I have to like redrop your token and update it. And some, some of you guys' tokens never, like, never leave some of these old ass scenes. So that's why. Is this the boss? Which one? Sorry. Like if it looks different. This one. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. He, he was wow. the original leader. Yeah. I'm going to go kick him in the head. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Ugh. Oh, make an unarmed attack. Bro. You're that. You're that. You're that. Uh, that that blog thingy, right? It looks up at you. A log. Blog is what he called you. <laughs> I pick him up. <laughs> Give me a strength check. He's kind of heavy set. He kind of like tries to resist. He gives a decent kind of immediate struggle. Like he's not a he's not a pushover in your opinion, but you do overcome him. And he's just like, hey, wait, are you jumping off? You lift him up, and as you do, you bring him. And he's not nowhere near. Height. He's probably like a five eight dude. And he's just like, jeez. And they say, I smell. What do you want? I believe you were agreed upon. Actually, being useful, yes, not just being drunken swine. Yeah, when there's a conflict, we said we protect your grounds and we'd fight for you if you told us where to go, but no one gave us no orders since no time but ever. Did anybody say just be drunken fools? No one said be anything, so we chose to be drunken fools. Look, he kind of like I burps would, out and gives uh, us a Suggest you think twice. About drinking. Well, then go destroy them free taps, and maybe I'm, me and my man will be free tapping. Well, fair enough. 
I drop them and then I go to destroy all the free tabs. <laughs> Roll it. Real quick, Eric, do you tell anyone or you just leave? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he did says he's this, the, did I hear this exchange? <laughs> like, did I hear this happen or was I, I not there? I, I, I mean, where were you be, Rolly? And it, you guys all came back to the crowd, crowd court. Eric took off to handle business. What were you guys doing, honestly? What would you guys have been doing had, had, had Eric just broken off? He never tells you guys shit, so what would you have been doing? He does done? just kind of go do his own thing a lot. Um. <laughs> We'd be getting Gowron. Yeah, ready I to think go I would be. I would be yeah, with Gowron, yeah, trying to wake these fuckers up. Like, okay, so let's say you guys are in another like, room. You guys hear him wake up one room. Uh, that room is absolutely woken up as you hear the captain say, Wake up, wake up, man. Go defend the free tops. And then you see the captain as Gowron and Rolly and whoever the hell is waking anyone else up in the rest of the rooms. The, cap, the, band, the, the, the captain runs around and goes, Everyone, the free tops are under siege. And everyone's waking up all. <laughs> Wild and uncertain as <laughs> Eric is missing. He's gonna cause a fucking riot. <laughs> this is the one community. This is like this is like the bus for America. Okay, so <laughs> he's about to fucking disturb. Oh. Yeah, you're you're about to disturb an entire ecosystem here. <laughs> Give me. I start smashing. <laughs> um, have now? Have I ever described a free tap to Eric though? I, I mean, but I mean, I would imagine. Let's say you, yeah, I'd say you'd be semi familiar with what they were. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. The immediate ones in your vicinity are easy targets. Boom, 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 smash, smash, smash. As you go and destroy them, you got people in the surroundings going, What is he doing? Oh my God, like with the gold, bring a bull, babe. And you see people just bringing like little cups and like, you know, grabbing and salvaging the muddiest of booze that they can from all of these destroyed barrels that Eric is just on a rampage going through the market square, the canker, everywhere there's a free tap. He's pretty much just demolishing in the overflow alley. How far, Eric, would you say in a, in a, in a radius vicinity you would go from the route I court? Would, I would make it as inconvenient for these guys to drink. Okay, I'll say that. And you know what? Give me a dexterity check. Dexterity. Let's see how far along you make it before they catch up. Ooh. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay. Okay. Brains Not bad. Cool. <laughs> You like somehow like just get distracted by the crowd as you know, there's a crowd stopping you. Yeah, there's people, they're pissed. They're like, what are you doing? But no one's gonna fight you because you're a much bigger dude than many of these poor free tap lovers. Mm -hmm. We'll say you make it to N Mas Grande from the route court. So you take out everything in the slums, Gerald. So in case you guys don't know what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at you. Um I'll give you guys ownership so you guys can actually see it. Sorry. Oop. Okay. So in the northern hollow, you are in the route court in the bottom left. You've made it through Slums of Gerald, Silver's Alley, Greeter's Entry on the left side, not the right. You didn't touch Trader's District. And you got to probably half of Enmos Grande before a couple of route court guy, route, uh, your guys' dudes and the captain get back, catch up to you, Eric. Like in between, oh wait, oh, Mina's dying on me. Oh no! Uh, jump on the Twitch, maybe. You know, I can't hear you though. Hello? Oh yeah, yeah we, can we can hear you. We got you. Oh, oh my okay. god, my Oof. Xfinity is dog water. Holy shit! Oh no! <laughs> I mean, you like. Sent that oh, message damn. five times, so I don't know. Hey, yeah, Con I don't know why I had sent like. <laughs> I had Comcast in Florida. It was fucking horrible. My Xfinity is awesome. Oh, dude, um, I envy that. I used to have US internet, and it was just pure fiber. It was amazing. What is US internet? I've never even heard of that. It's like a local that here either. in in, uh, in yeah. uh, the Twin Cities. I have, but... I have oh, cool. Wave fiber. It's like a Seattle one. Nice. So, it's nonetheless. Like... Oh, God, I miss it so much. Really? This is a fucking disaster, what Eric is on a mission to do. This is like the Terminator destroying mailboxes. A horrible fucking idea. By the time you find out, Eric is gone. 
half of the half of your guys' mates, so like about twenty of them or so, have run off to defend whatever they can get to. Do you care to do or discuss anything with your with the team in regards to what the fuck is going on right now, or what may or potentially could happen? As far as like giving out orders, no. As far as Eric destroying all of the free taps in the local area. I mean, if he thinks that's gonna stop them from drinking, like I, I'm not gonna try and stop him. Like it is true. If we want to have a, if we want to have like a, a zone that doesn't have alcohol in it, like might be a way to like control an area. Okay, for sure. You do know that there um, might be some riots. Oh yeah, not impossible. I mean, you guys got the army. You can always they blame, like, blame yeah. it on other people. You know. I mean, well, they're all watching Eric walking through and just destroying shit. So I don't think Eric is is disguising the fact of who he belongs with, right, Eric? Or are you in any way trying to blame anyone else? I mean, Eric. How do you so- justify this? I guess as people are complaining to you, Eric, asking why, begging you to stop, like regular, you know, regular individuals not even your own people like what would you tell them as you go around just bashing the public service that has somehow existed for however long um how, how many people are upset in my oh i mean a whole, everywhere you go there's at least five to six already there and a dozen around that are like five to six blown away. each of them five gold well, i just start paying cap. Okay, so we'll say you hit seven taps. You get, say, at the low end, five. You, that's, uh, what? Uh, 125, uh, 225? Sure. No, not even Whatever. that. Uh, 175. 175 gold Perfect. to them. To the immediate drinkers. And then the crowd that influxes, do you just kind of ignore them? Yep, fuck them. Okay, so you drop 175 gold as you go about destroying stuff, and then the captain and the crew, or say about 15 or so of the crew, catch up to you. <laughs> Hey, what? They like yelled out right before you crush the next one. What do you do? I. So who's who's getting mad? Who's yeah. who's closest yeah, to cat, me right now? The captain is probably about twenty feet away as he's just yelling and begging manner to ask you to wait. I'll wait. Okay. And if he says something dumb, he's about to get popped in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like breathing all heavy and trying to you know catch his breath as he's going about you know raspy and all and he's just like okay we'll listen to Galron's regime we'll give up he starts throwing up <laughs> and then you hear like five dudes we'll give up the boots we'll give up the boots just don't break the free tap you don't give us any it's the only place we get any we'll get into shape so we can run to this free tap and this free tap only is our tap what do you say as the not even second in command but a one with breath in their lungs speaks out to you yes but you will set up a schedule not everybody's drinking free taps at in one day <laughs> let's you see will... if they can get past this one <laughs> hold on <laughs> <laughs> Free taps only on the weekends. Ugh, they went. <laughs> you see, all of them kind of hurt, <laughs> like in physical pain, as you speak such ridiculous words. But no one stops you. But they, none of them, look to be too happy about not all drinking together. But it doesn't seem like they have a choice. <laughs> what are the conditions? I man? find that you have violated this rules. I will begin smashing more free taps. As you see, I make quick work of taps. <laughs> okay. Deal. <laughs> and then you hear like a wheezy. <laughs> <sighs> and then the, the captain just knocks out unconscious. He has the biggest gut of them all. He clearly doesn't do his cardio. As they all kind of just pick him up and they lumper. They go, you see the dude who discussed with you. As they all kind of head to the free tap, he goes, wait. Oh, he starts doing a head count. He goes, only seven can go. And he looks to you for approval. And there were 20 of them. So there's 20. How many total do we have? You guys have 32 of the bandit guys. 
at this particular zone, you have then another 20 goblins, I believe, or 30 goblins. So it's somewhere around 52 or 62 total. But these guys particularly, there's 32 of them. And are they the ones that are actually being the drunken rowdies? And yeah, the, the rat. Are... No, the, yeah, the goblins are constantly building shit. Like these guys are just a bunch of. The goblins are always active. These guys okay, are just a bunch so of. So I tell them no that only four at a time. Because I do the math in my head. <laughs> he does like a burp and four, like four per day. <laughs> as he burps out his 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 current containment of whatever he had just drank. He was like, oh, you you and he kicks another juke. You. Get away, get away. He like shoves two, three of his own dudes off as he, the captain, and two others selected to enjoy the tap. And they just send everyone else away to the rest. Uh, rolling the rest of the game, you eventually see about um, 16 or so odd balls arriving back in New Circuit, talking about how it's a disaster out there. Everything is just a mess. There's blood and there's guts and there's beams and bars, and it's, it's, it's terrifying. All of you give me is an the insight check there? by Eric. No, he's not. He's absolutely getting wasted at the tab. Uh, uh, but all of you guys, but Eric, there? give me an insight. Yeah, insight. <laughs> hey, oh, there's one. 16. Mina. Okay, Wiggles. Wiggles and Mina. You look to each other and think, Eric. And that's where we're going to go ahead and hold today's session. <laughs> but let's discuss a little where do you guys want to go moving forward. Oh, I think our first... I'm interested. Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. No, go ahead, Jen. Go ahead, go Jen. I was just going to say I'm interested in uh, learning more about Mina's sister, so to speak. Same. <laughs> yeah. This Pringles killer. <laughs> we must avenge sprinkles exactly it's like, it's like a unison vote on on this individual um <laughs> okay okay for sure for sure to be fair i dropped that on 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 uh on mina on mina literally they had no clue so they did really oh, well damn. thank you for that that was that, that was great rp yeah they they did not know anything whatsoever in that regard uh, that was completely so, new to me. <laughs> that was, I was, that was having a, a of, hard time trusting it was real for a while. That was, that was a buildup, and I was like, man, how am I going to really work this one? So I really deep dived their backstory and really ripped it apart and really left a lot of mind-boggling things. But who knows? Who, who is she? Mina doesn't know. We don't got a name. We got, well, we got MS. We got initials. We got MS Lashar. Uh, we also Mina. don't know if she's telling yeah. the truth. We don't know a lot yeah. of things. Yeah, Mina doesn't even know. It's scary. Yeah, it's a real confusing situation right now. So there's a lot to see there. Um, despite Eric knows she's telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess. All In right. some sense. Yeah, but in meta sense, none of you guys do. But Eric is privy to some information that you guys don't have. So are a few others. Uh, based there's a lot of things happening in the background that I'm managing also. Um, so be, be fair that, uh, all of you guys are, are privy to some, quite a few different details across the board. So it is kind of fun to see how you all react. Um, outside of the Mina drop, <laughs> is there any, any other specifics that you guys might be noticed or about lacking or want to highlight, uh, moving forward just so I can make sure that I'm, I'm following along your guys' uh, desires. I mean, I have nothing as far as that I could think. We all have really strong stomachs because it one shot sprinkled. <laughs> <laughs> you told me it was safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are ridiculous. Um, Rolly, anything you want to, since you guys are still in the hollow and you guys haven't left, is there anything? Uh, you potentially might pursue due to your guys' current uh, persistence still being present? I mean, now that we have a lead on council member that potentially could swing things in our favor as things progress here, so following that is cool with Roly, but also we're gonna, if we need to escape or we need to get out of town, we have, we have like 
Okay. You guys got the smoldering stocks and all that. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Anyone else want to drop anything on me? Throw in a suggestion, throw in a curiosity, or anything? I still think rescuing the SOS members is uh, oh, big time. Is uh, important, especially with this new development. I think even more so. <laughs> definitely help. Yeah, so as a definitely particular group. All right. Well, uh, as always, you guys are more.